Milk. Crate. Marauder. I should probably... I think George Takei is going to call in at some point because he's... Well, I think he's announcing he wants to get married to do... Because did you hear about in California now you can get married if you're gay? Ellen DeGeneres even announced that she's getting married. Boy, her audience went berserk. They were very, very excited. Oh, she announced it on the air? Yes. As soon as this whole California thing went down. And uh, this is very exciting, i got to say. Yesterday, if you haven't heard, uh, the California Supreme Court overturned a ban on gay marriage. For the first time, I am announcing I am getting married. Wow, they're excited. What's going on in this country? Audience is going berserk. <laughs> that isn't supposed to be for a gay marriage. There's some real liberals. <laughs> Thank you. I'll tell you who the lucky guy is soon. And uh, I'm so excited. If I'm this emotional now, just saying, and I, I can't imagine how that's going to be, but it's something that I've, I've uh, of course, we've wanted to do, and, uh, and we want it to be legal, and, and uh, we're just very, very excited. So that is my first time. Do you realize she's DeGeneres, and her girlfriend is DeRossi? Yeah, a lot of duh. <laughs> so on the gay front, uh, our announcer, George Takei, has an announcement to make. George, ah. do you want to say something? Good morning. Good morning, George. I, are there wedding bells in the future? Brad and I are getting married. Oh. Oh. When? Is it going to be a big ceremony? Well, uh, you know, we, uh, we're we still in the process, that delicious, delicious uh, anguish of, uh, of planning our wedding. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to call you immediately when we... When we uh, could be legal. Yes. But you guys are off on Friday. I forgot about that. Thank right. God. Hey, oh, describe to God. me the wedding. I know Richard wants to dance nude at your wedding. <laughs> uh, he's already He wants to be that. on the top of the cake, I think. I think so. But uh, what what do you see? A big, lavish wedding? Well, you know, we, we're in the pr uh, planning process. We still haven't decided whether it's going to be a, a small, intimate one with family and friends or whether we want to have a great great big one where we embrace everybody. Uh, there are places that we're uh, considering. Uh, we're thinking of um, the uh, former St. Bibiana's Catholic Cathedral, which is no longer a cathedral, but a beautiful, it restored historic uh, uh, building. Or we're thinking of the Japanese American National Museum, which um, you know we helped to build. And it's, it's a gorgeous building with a great uh, hall where we can have a reception as well. Look at you. Oh, I think that would mean so much. Oh, it really would be meaningful. But, you know, this is the dilemma that we've been uh, looking forward to having. Our uh, California State uh, Supreme Court uh, made same-sex uh, marriages legal. They, now, do you think it, it will last? In other words, some people are saying this could even be overturned. Well, as a matter of fact, those opposed to it have been collecting signatures. They've turned in something like... Uh, uh, 1,100, 11, uh, 1, 100, uh, 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 signatures. Well, we better hurry and get this wedding quick. That's right. I thought you'd have had it all planned, uh, you know, that's right. uh, in the well, event we that this you know, We happen. weren't sure whether uh, the uh, Supreme Court was going to uh, 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 overturn the ban on same-sex marriage, but we were overjoyed when it happened on uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday morning here, afternoon there. And... Uh, 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 so May I suggest a wedding song? Uh, well, we've been uh, thinking of all the songs too, but yes, what's your suggestion? Here we go. One of the songs you made famous. Oh my. I'm dreaming of a white Venus <laughs> Just like the one I used to be. Imagine the first dance for this. Wow. With a sweet <laughs> pink glisten, even when it's pissing, it's 
it sends a tingle through my throat. I'm dreaming of a white penis, a curvy blue vein hard delight. Big penis is dropping from the ceiling. I am gay. And I'm horny, that's right. And I love one inside me Christmas night. <laughs> How romantic. I love well, it, I don't have to dream about it anymore. You know, as you know, yesterday was our first Sunday. And you know what Sunday means to us. Uh, oh, it was wonderful. Uh, we are legal now. We're no longer living in sin. Well, who's the bride? Uh, uh, but we're both grooms. You're both grooms, I yes. see. Now, what will you wear? Well, that's what we've been uh, thinking of, too. Whether we want to be uh, dressed in uh, uh, all white or uh, tuxedo. I'm or... excited about the wedding. What? Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited about well, the thank wedding. You. We wanted you to be one of the first to know, but you weren't on the air. You know what you have to wear? Assless what? pants. Uh. <laughs> Where they cut the hole out of the ass. Chaps. Uh, Chaps. Uh, we, you know, the, the Supreme Court gave us yeah. dignity now, and we are yes. going to do it. Do in a dignified manner. But we are going to forge our own unique form and shape and style. Will your dog be there? Uh, no. She's passed. No, she's you got a dog. new one, I thought. No, we no. did not. Oh, oh you dear, to, you that's going to be the wedding gift from me, a new dog. Really? Uh, oh, well, thank you. Yes. Another papillon. A papillon, yes, Are of you course. ready for another papillon? You know, I think we finally are. Papillon. Papillon. I think Papillon. you're ready. I think, we, you're ready. I think we're finally ready for another dog. Yeah, I mean, you need some kind of That's kids. That's beautiful. Uh, yes. Here's my suggestion for a wedding song. Are you ready? <laughs> I right. see the first dance. The, the groom and groom come out, and suddenly they break into... Brass big balls, brass big balls, <laughs> hanging in his underwear. When they're in my face, oh, I'll take right. a taste and spit out the pubic hair. Brass big balls, brass big <laughs> balls, smacking on my rear. Because juicy nuts are on my butt makes me one happy queer. Can we throw you a big gay bachelor party? Well, well let gonna, me ask you am something. I'm going to regret uh, having recorded those songs. <laughs> Never. Yes, of course. Who would regret <laughs> that? You don't yet? <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. Who walks down the aisle to who? They, well, that's where, you know, we don't want to, because there are all these traditions, we want to uh, uh, redesign it for ourselves. I see. We, we're going to have a unique wedding. We don't know, what, uh, you know, how we're going to march in, how we're going to march out, where we're going to march in from. Well, this is all being uh, discussed right now. Well, this certainly you march out together. Wow. Oh, who is, uh, who will be the maid of honor? Well, we're thinking of that. Nothing is, you know, we're, uh, we have about a dozen various options that we've uh, planned. The only thing we know is that we're going to go to South America for our honeymoon. Ah. Oh. Yes. Uh, George, uh, as your cuddly muffin, can I yes, be the muffin. maid of honor? Oh, Artie, you would can be you be great. my muffin of honor? Yes. Muffin yeah. of honor. <laughs> what about I that? Think that would be a great idea. You're going to be on the list as one of the options. <laughs> <laughs> that means they don't want you there. Well, I'll uh, sing. Uh, Ann Murray. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Sing your song. Uh, this is a great wedding song. Yeah. Go ahead. Dignity. <clears throat> this is for you guys. All right. This is perfect, actually. Dreaming. I must be dreaming. <laughs> Don't laugh. When I look into your eyes, what do I see? Heartbreak. There must be heartbreak for you and I Cause when I get this feeling, Brad I think I'm gonna die When I know I Just fall in love again Just one touch and then Did you sing that at the gay bachelor party? Bravo, bravo. That's Isn't that a beautiful song for you? And I know I just fall in love again. And when I do, I can't help myself. I fall in love with you. 
<laughs> you are gifted. You're the next American Idol. Yes. You're fantastic. I want to sing that at your wedding. You have no idea how much I'd love for my father to roll over in his grave again and again. Yeah, at least it would be some movement. He'd <laughs> like on a rotisserie. <laughs> yeah, he'll be like a rotisserie. You know, just be keep spinning. <laughs> That'd be great to get a shot of a cam like a camera down in your father's grave. He's spinning like a dryer. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care because he had an archaic way of thinking as much as I love him, George. This is the new uh, the new way of thinking, the uh, the tolerance George, may I say, of you crazy fucks getting married. I am so proud and happy to know that you can get married. I really, truly am. Is, we are doing it legally. We waited for this for a long time. You know, we had domestic uh, partnership in California, but we didn't want to do that because that was accepting second-class citizenship. Right. You know, separate but equal and now we are equal yes congratulations i know yes. this was a dream of yours well, and thank you very much and, and the i wanted ruling. all of you guys to know and uh, yes artie you are you know on the list with nichelle nichols as uh, <laughs> would you do a duet with her of course Beautiful. oh that would be your, your your two voices together would sound just glorious by the way uh george as you know i am uh, getting married as well i know you I finally oh, made it legal I, for me to get married I, well you yeah. said you we wouldn't so get happy. married until gay marriage was legal. Yes, so now, now I'm doing it. You can get married, too. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and thank you for holding out until it's legal for us. Yes, and by the way, uh, Phoebe Snow told me she will sing a song at my wedding. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and what she's singing? We don't know yet. I, I haven't discussed well, it. Actually, it's Brad's Big Balls. Brad's Big Balls. <laughs> she's doing, she'll probably do a great version of that. You know, you know what, George? I hate to tell you this. There's one uh, monkey wrench here. In California, there is a law against Asians marrying whites. Oh. That's still on the board. Yeah. And California <laughs> led the way on that. We had an anti-miscegenation law. And in 1948, uh, we overturned that. Very and, good. Well, uh, it was about time they overturned this law. And and the U.S. Supreme Court didn't do it until 1967. So we we were leading the way. You know, in this Will case, you wear a wedding ring? What? Will you wear a wedding ring? Yeah, we're going to, uh, you know, Brad's from Arizona. So uh, we're going to Arizona and buy a turquoise wedding ring. I see. Silver and turquoise. Uh, that we've way. decided on that. That's about the only thing we've uh, finalized yet so far. Well, congratulations again. Really, it is a great Thank day. you, Howard, and thank you. And thank you for the support you've uh, all given Absolutely. us. Absolutely. It's been fantastic. Let me say, George, it's very appropriate that they turned over this law since Brad has been turning you over for 50 years. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, the, like, one can only imagine the hijinks on the wedding night. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, it's, and it's all legal now. <laughs> uh, the sucking that will go on. You oh, know, I remember oh back in the, when I was a little boy, I remember reading in the paper about gay men getting arrested for sucking each other. It was considered illegal. Right. And now to see in my lifetime that sucking another man is legal. Uh, <laughs> well, that's quite an accomplishment. Well, things it? keep changing. We, you know, give, we are getting closer to the ideals of our democracy. Will you give Brad anal? I know you two don't oh. engage in that, but will you give him anal on well, the honeymoon? Well, it's a special night. Well, we were going to do something very <laughs> special on that wedding night. You know, because we've been doing it for over 20 years now. And um, what do you we think? Do something very very special. I smell a blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> will there be so so ass play will definitely be an option for the, the wedding whole night. entire <clears throat> thing. In a way, it's good you two don't have ass play because now there's something special for yeah, the honey. Something, something to new. do on your something honey. Something new. What do you think? Do you think you will be the woman? And receive, or do you believe the you will woman. be the giver? I, it may be mutual. You're both going to take it in the ass. They yeah. both have to, you know, be part of this marriage, so we, everything has to be consummated. I love it. We're going to consummate. <laughs> totally consummate. Just don't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, George, We're too old to do that. Congratulations again, honestly. Thank you very much, Howard, and thank you, uh, Artie and, uh, and, and Robin and uh, Fred and everybody there. I thank predict you. the marriage will last two years, and then Oh, stop. You think it'll ruin their whole relationship I do. after I do. 20 years? That's it. It could. This oh. is what happens. With and I predict George will have a face of Bukaki <laughs> on his wedding night. I do. I oh, believe that. How can you say that when we've uh, lasted 21 years through thick and thin? Let's hope it yeah. lasts. Sometimes marriage changes things. Don't ask me why, well, but it does. That Why are you wishing that on that Brad and, and I'm not George. wishing it. I just know what happens. Oh. Yeah, well, you're the experienced man on that. By the way, uh, one of our listeners predicts that this is what the wedding night for George and Brad will sound like.
believe it or not, there's a prediction already. Oh, my. Let's listen in. Thank you, sir. I want to hear Thank you. Thank you, sir. I want to hear you. Well, George, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. The great George Takei, who announces he is getting married. Yes. Who, who popped the question? We, you know, I was planning on doing it, but Brad beat me to it. I bet. Wow. I bet. He got on his knee, and I said, what are you doing? Ah. <laughs> it's not Wednesday. <laughs> uh, George, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Right. Have a good day, y'all. Bye, too. George. George is really happy, as we all are, for the great George Takei. Well, you know, the way the uh, Supreme Court of California made that uh, ruling was they said you cannot in a democracy deny equal rights to any Human participant being. in that democracy. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course not. So yeah. if people are allowed to get married, everybody can get married. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a live brand new show. I'm trying to figure out which mic George is on. It's been so long, I can't remember. George, George what mic? George is here. Good morning. Hold on, wait. Hold on a second. Say something. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Guess Am I who? on? Yeah, I couldn't remember Good which. Good morning. How are you? I couldn't I'm remember. Just <laughs> I couldn't remember which switch worked the microphone for your... <laughs> and which switch am I? You're number four. I'm number four. Number four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. What a great How voice. How are you, George? Nice last... Iconic voice. When's the last time you were here? Uh, I think it's been more than three months. It's been much too long. And congratulations to you on many, many counts. Certainly on your upcoming wedding and uh, the merger of uh, Sirius, Sirius and, and Exit. To and another marriage, that's yeah. right. And yes. congratulations to you on California allowing gay uh, marriage and uh, the fact that you and Brad are getting married. Well, I already sent you. you. Did you get our gift yet? I, uh, no, not yet. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, we've been out of town an awful lot. Oh, all right. We but yeah, I'm a happy guy <laughs> to be hitched to the guy I love with... Uh, Loving family and friends uh, surrounding us. How much happier can one get? It almost became like a hu like the biggest thing in your career, even bigger than Star Trek or Heroes. I'm telling you, the way the press covered it, we weren't quite prepared for that. We were just swarmed by that massive media coverage. Well, there's you, there's Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. And Last weekend. Yeah, I mean, that's it. You know, Here, gay marriage went through, but they needed to put a famous face on it. And you guys were you right there. You became the spokesperson. Well, uh, uh, you know, we, we're doing what we wanted to do. And uh, our Supreme Court finally gave us, well, they said, you know, you guys have been living in sin for 20, 21 years, so it's about time you made it legit. That's right. Might as well make it legal. <laughs> Are you nervous? Well, when is the wedding? It's uh, the 14th of September. Okay. Next month. Did you get a marriage license yet? Well, that's when we got that massive media coverage. I see. So we, we do have a license now. Now, when you get a marriage license, because I've you know been looking into this, you've got to... Oh, you haven't gotten yours yet? No. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, we... Even though it's been reported everywhere that I'm married. That's right. I don't know how the fuck that happened. I mean, there must be 5,000 reports I could play you about that I got married this weekend. And I wish everyone would calm down. Who cares if I'm married or not? I'm telling you this. I never saw such interest in a, a, a non -thing. Too many media outlets. Yeah. And oh, they love to it get is. it wrong. Yeah. I mean, they had us already married, too. Is All we did right? was get the license. Yeah, so you got the license. Did you have, like, you have to have, you have to have a, a birth certificate. Oh, you do? Yeah. A driver's license. Uh, we didn't have to have our birth certificate, only our driver's license. That's it? And $70. You have to have a birth certificate? Oh, yeah, you, you, you have to have... There's four or five things you have to have from each column, and you have to match one of the columns. Really? Yeah, Not in have, California. You have to have a birth certificate, a driver's right. license. I've got to have my divorce papers. Uh, oh, no, you well, I want you to prove that. Yeah. Yeah. You have to prove your divorce. <laughs> it's a whole <laughs> fucking deal. I thought of a couple of loopholes, though, for George. You could, I think they just specify gays getting married, not two men. I think you could have said... No, they said marriage equality. 
But I, I think you could have years ago gotten married and just said you guys weren't gay. You just were two guys who wanted to get married. No, you couldn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you just said, look, we're not gay guys. We just hey, want to get married. So I, when, I when, when, when my question was, when you went down to the, you know. City Hall. The City Hall. Right. Right. Did you have any, like, like, thoughts like, wow, you know, this could fuck everything up. This could mess it all up. Did you have any kind of trepidation? We were a little nervous, not because of that, but because it was, you know, something that we hadn't expected to happen, and we were really excited about it. But How did then, people know you were going down to City Hall? Well, uh, the press, you know, I mean, this was the first day that uh, uh, marriage equality was going to start happening. So uh, the press was there in mass. And when we showed up, we were just you know, uh, swarmed by them. We couldn't move. And then uh, they asked the uh, mayor of West Hollywood was uh, making a speech, and they asked me to uh, make some comment at the same time, too. And so I said, may, uh, may sweet equality live long and prosper. This is a big career move for you, in a way. I mean, I never saw so much publicity. You're on fire. Do you think he's getting married just for his career? <laughs> I, I think it's for think, Brad's career. I don't think so. Yeah, Brad's become a name now. I know. Uh, Mary Ann from Brooklyn, you're on the air. Good morning. Hello, No, no. We we first. Tell me that. I, I would tell you when I'm getting married. I told you, you know, we're having a family thing and a thing for our friends. So why did the post print that? Uh, why? They, everything they print about me is wrong. <laughs> I mean, uh, in fact, I in fact I spoke with Lisa G through a third party, and because I said, well, according to Lisa G, and Lisa G said, look, I never reported that. I reported that Beth was going to wear a sundress or something with your family. Right, and Beth and put on the beach. Some, something like that, and that's not even true. I don't even know what that is. So uh, here, here's a, a, I mean, every uh, media outlet reported it, and uh, it's completely false. Can I there. give you my take, Howard? Is this, this going to be around like the Labor Day weekend when you have vacation? I, you know what? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm actually starting to, to get, um, what do you call that, cold feet, not because I, I have any doubts about Beth, I, I I just don't like all of this hoopla. It's too much, Howard. It's too much for me. I, I'm not George Takei. I can't handle it. He can't take it. I can't take it. You better talk him down. It's for you and your family to be I, I should have just taken her off somewhere and married her. It's what I wanted to do. I love you so much, Howard. I saw your Thank tattoo you. on your ring. It's hot, sexy thing, Howard. If it wasn't that, I wish it could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You, trust you me. You laugh at that. I love you. You don't want me mounting you. Trust me, Marion. I love All you, All right. Howard. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You have anyway. no idea what it's like when I mount a woman. Are you getting helicopters flying over your place? No, no. Nothing like that. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, it's just it's enough already with this marriage stuff. I, mean, I know. The, the you know press... I'm like the bride to be here. I mean, what, what is it? I'm a man. I don't care about this kind of stuff. I care about just getting laid and having fun. I'm a scores man. I like meeting girls. Yeah, I like meeting sudden. guys. I like I like uh, to have fun. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not about <laughs> pictures and. And if right. you don't like it. And if you don't like it, it's too bad. Here, I'll play you some of these. Did shock jock Howard Stern and longtime fiance Beth Otrosky get married? His co-worker... She better change that name. <laughs> Nobody can even say it. Right? That's atrocious. <laughs> ...report Stern and his girl... Like a Trotsky. Yeah, I really. ...in fact, tie the knot on the beach yesterday. An article featured in New York Post, page 6, also says... And wedding bells will be ringing for the shock jock. Howard Stern was reportedly to marry his longtime fiance, Beth Ostrocki, on the beach today. Ostrocki! Oh, oh my wow. God. Not barefoot. That's a tough and name to say. Were invited. <laughs> Friends will be celebrating at a big. Yeah, but this is and the first time, no like, two in a row, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we have no confirmation on this, but celebrity watchers are abuzz tonight with Howard Stern wedding news. Mm -hmm. Now, this is video taken in the past of Shock Jock and his longtime girlfriend. Beth. Shock Jock. Of Shock Jock. Everybody's, like, so <laughs> floored by this. They can't do anything right. Trotsky, the talk is the two were supposed to be married in a quiet beach day. She said a Trotsky, too. Well, who could say that name? Well, she got, you know, she stumbled over shock jock, then Ostrowski was looking at her. Hmm.
You know, maybe, <laughs> it's good, maybe it's a good thing you're getting all this uh, hoo-ha right now, because then when it actually happens, they'll miss it. It'll be passé. Yeah. That's a Polish name, by the way. It's weird that I'm marrying a Polish girl because, like, you know, my whole childhood I heard about how horrible Poles. I know. Were. All you have to do is say Poland to him. It's like slowly right. I turn. Right. Yeah. It's, a, it's like you know, the, 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 when the Germans came into Poland. The Poles took the Jews and they killed them and slaughtered them and they were they loved it and Poland was a great uh, place to live. It was a great city. It was a cultural center. And then when they killed all the Jews, they got their payback because now it's just Poland. <laughs> they lost all their culture. And they lost now it's that. just Poland. They lost everything. And they were jealous of the Jews. And the Poles then, you know, what I, I, mean, I was afraid of everything and everyone growing up. And you still are. Yes. The Poles gift wrapped the Jews for the Germans, and then, and then, and then I'd go to bed and do, and have a fucking nightmare. But uh, no, but I you see, I wonder why. But my mother's more enlightened now and forgiving and. Well, the, the Germans must have been scary motherfuckers because <laughs> the Parisians let them walk right in too. Right <laughs> Believe it or not, Howard Stern is entering into the institution of marriage. Industry insiders say Stern was set to marry his longtime fiance, Beth Ostrowski, on a beach. Ostrowski is rumored to have recently gotten a tattoo of the letter H inked on her arm and may change. It was real weird, too, because um, Beth took a picture of the H on her arm. Uh huh. So she said she called Doug Herwitt, who, you know, runs our website. And she said, you know, I have this picture of the H. I'll send it over to you. He goes, what, what am I going to do with that? What? And so she said, well, okay, forget it. But um, he didn't want to. Yeah, she thought it might be interesting for fans to see. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he turned it down? <laughs> he turned it down. She goes, I can't believe he turned down the H. I said, okay. That, that, Doug wasn't what thinking I, that day. <laughs> I go, he's, he's right on what, it. What, what? what would I do with that? <laughs> what do I want with that? For my personal collection? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> Will you stop it? Are you out of your mind? So she was like, whoa. Yeah, that's kind of... She says, I, I feel kind of dumb. She says, I feel stupid telling him that I had it, but I thought maybe he'd want it. He must have been overburdened at that moment, and it didn't occur to him what he was saying. He was like, I've seen the letter H before. <laughs> well, what do I need to see him here for? <laughs> H is not a new letter. All right. Jock Jock, Howard Stern is set to tie the knot in October, but he will also have a pre-ceremony this weekend. People are all confused. Like, 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 like it's turning into some bizarre Pam Anderson, Tommy Lee thing. Like, he's set to get married in October. Uh, he's, but He's having preview weddings <laughs> yeah. for the real thing. Runner-up weddings. <laughs> okay, get ready, everybody. Listen to this. Stern's fiance Beth Ostrowski, tells Fox the pair will hold a type A civil service Saturday in... This girl can barely read. Where is this one Wait from? a minute. What is she talking about? <laughs> I don't know. A type A civil servant. What does that mean? This is from Birmingham, Alabama. Their reporters, can, their, their anchor people can barely talk. Well, it's Birmingham. Who are you going to get to? Right. New York's ritzy summer getaway, the Hamptons. A celebrity is also officiating the vows. Stern says Kelly Ripa's husband, actor Mark Consuelos, became an ordained minister just for the occasion to marry Howard Stern and his wife. That scares me somehow. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> scares her. Her reading scares me. I'm, I'm wondering if she went to school. I'm wondering where they even do that telecast. It's Ooh. all noisy in there. Yeah, who am? It's <laughs> say here. Shock, shock. Howard Stern is set to tie the knot in October, but he will also have a pre-ceremony. Have a pre-ceremony. <laughs> Did shock jock Howard Stern and his longtime fiance? We're moving on now to Phoenix, where apparently they, they're a little more professional. I see. Did shock jock Howard Stern and his longtime fiance get married? Maybe, maybe not. The New York Post. Who gives a shit? Enough already. <laughs> How does your life change? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's creeping me out. By the care. end, it's going to be shock jock and Ben Luzinski. <laughs> 
right. uh, getting married. <laughs> yeah. uh, what, that that is really incredible. How like you know, especially in those smaller markets, like the tattoo is big news, and you know, yeah, yeah. Richie getaway. I guess Herwitt didn't think it was all that big a deal. No, he was like, "What am I supposed to?" He, he said, "The better. What am I supposed to do with that?" So you know, it's like it's a funny thing that uh, you know. You, you know, I mean, I guess it's a sign that the show is popular and that, you I know, I'm in the news. I think yeah, that's one nice yeah. thing about it. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's embarrassing in a way, all this carrying on, you know what I mean? Well, it's a very public thing. thing and if it fails, then that's going to be very public, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, quit predicting that already. <laughs> I'm not predicting anything. I'm just saying they make a big deal out of something, and then if it doesn't work out, it becomes an even bigger deal. Yeah, but they've been together for uh, years now. So. No, 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 no. I'm saying anything like that. You know, yeah. like if you have a bunch of fanfare over a movie even, and then it comes out and it flops, it makes it even a worse tragedy. Yeah, if we flop, I'm just going to say, look, I'm famous, and this is what famous people do. I'm supposed <laughs> to get married like three or four times. I'm only up to my second That's one. That's right. That was just, you know, my second try. Yeah, I mean, Paul McCartney, I see he's already getting married again. Is he really? He's still talking about it. He's oh, found some new chick. God. Who's he marrying? Well, he's got enough money. There you go. Yeah, but I what mean, what does that have to do with it? Nothing. How many broads is he going to give sixty million dollars to? I hope I'm in that line. No, there'll, be, there'll, there'll be a prenup next time. Trust me. Yeah, That'll yeah. Be. You think Paul learned? Yeah, I think Paul got a good lesson. Uh, Wendy Williams. She mentioned me on her TV show, but I'll just play you all the wedding bullshit. Uh, this is Wendy Williams, but I don't know what she was saying. She, but she, she basically wished me well. All right, now moving on. Okay, Howard Stern. Fa 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 fa. I've been on his radio show before. He's nice. I like Howard. Anyway, um, um, Howard is marrying Beth, and Mark Consuelos, Kelly Ripa's wife, husband, is doing the <laughs> ceremony. And I knew that Howard would eventually marry this girl if they stuck around long enough. Because what are you supposed to do with five hundred million dollars? You know, other than pay, you know, alimony and a little child support and buy yourself a couple of trinkets and you know, houses. You know, he's got like great property from what I uh, read in the tabs. But it's supposed to be this weekend, right? This weekend, out in the Hamptons, and Consuelos is is officiating a, a little something. And so, congratulations. And the next thing, Howard, is the baby. I'm almost certain that a Mush. woman that young is not going to marry you and not have any babies. Yeah, well, that'll be the reason for my divorce. I, I mean, you know, so congratulations, Howard. Beth, I've never met you, but congratulations. It was nice, but you didn't need to bring that up. Got enough to read. Trying to make it interesting. My husband. Kevin uh, suggested that we crash the wedding. Uh, Put the draw. Wow. Well. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. Don't do that because we'll throw you out. Yeah, you know, are we going to sing a wacky song? Yeah. She could be the chief take South place. But anyway, I um, yeah, that'd be the only reason my marriage would fail. Beth and I had a heart to heart about that yet again. Really? Yeah. I mean, I just think I'm a crotchety old dude. I don't want any more kids. What brings up these heart to hearts? Me. He you. Does. Yeah, I go. <laughs> I go. I go, it up. I said, are you sure you want to go ahead with this? I really don't want kids. But and she so, goes, yeah, I'm, I don't want kids either. I go, okay, I'm just checking in. I don't want to be a shit. But you, you're sure that's completely out of your mm. paranoia? She's not giving you signs that she might want no. a kid, so you feel you have to bring that up. Well, we were watching the Olympics, and she said, hey, let's adopt a little Chinese baby. Uh, oh, oh, what? And then I said, uh, little Chinese baby. And I said, uh, hell no. Unless, uh, unless she's really good on the parallel bars. Right. I don't she's see any upside. really know how to flip around. <laughs> Beth loves Chinese babies. Real? Yeah. Well, they get uh, they get big though. Uh, yeah, no, she just loves. Can she find the Chinese baby so, so it stays a baby? Well, once in a while, she'll say, "Let's get a Chinese baby," you know. And I go, uh, "Look." I said to <laughs> We're me, not getting any kind of baby. I said, "If I was going to have a baby, I'd have my own right. baby. I don't need a Chinese baby." It so said, "Mia Farrow said the same thing. Look how that turned out." Right. Mm. But I'm saying, listen, I'm up front. I just checked in one more time and said, "Look, you sure you want to be with a geezer?" Who doesn't want any kids? I and mean, she uh, said, "She goes, I don't want kids either." Except so, Chinese kids. She was fucking around. <laughs> I think. I don't know. No, that's better to be honest up front early on. We've been up front the whole time, man. This is different. I'm telling you.
I'm being up front. Well, Brad asked me whether, you know... You guys thinking of having kids? No, no, no. Not, I, you know, there was a time... George, if you life. get pregnant, it'll ruin your body. <laughs> no, that, adopting, adopting. Adopting, yeah. But it's, no, it's too late in my life. You, you won't have your child. own? You will not carry your own? <laughs> I will not carry my own. We got the, you got the Chinese kid. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese girl kid, yeah. Right. <laughs> No, uh, I don't think so, because... Uh, You're not adopted. It, it, you know, You're Jimmy Doohan, Jimmy Doohan, at 80 years old, father and child. That's ridiculous. And I think it's uh, so How unfair to the child. How long did he live after that? Five years. Wow. Oh, he never even knew the kid was, you know, without a father at five uh, years old. And I don't think that's, that's uh, really fair, fair that's to the kid. I agree. I mean, when he, you and Brad have a great lifestyle. Yeah, we we really enjoy our life as it is, and we have our surrogate children and my grandniece and grandnephew. I mean, they live only five minutes away, and uh, we love them to death. Mm. Poor Brad. I, I saw him on the newscast when you guys were getting the marriage license. He looked like a deer in the headlights. He does not like being on camera. He was like, he looked like he was frozen. He gets very nervous very easily, yeah. and he, the the uh, cameras and the photographers and the crowd really shook him up. Was it a romantic night, the night that you went and got the marriage license? I mean, here you'd been on TV, the two of you had been uh, interviewed. Was there sex involved the night that you got your marriage license? The night before was wonderful. It was, the because night... he was excited and you were excited. Exactly. But the night of uh, uh, the night after we got the uh, license, so you guys were so he worked was up, completely frozen. You guys were so worked <laughs> really? up, you, you blew each other, <laughs> oh. and then went down to the city hall. Wow, that's right. Right. We were, <laughs> that's right. We were energetic. We were just full of vitality. How oh, wonderful! Let's go down and get the license. Oh, <laughs> it was a happy occasion. Why not celebrate? Getting the license. Now, in a situation like that, do you switch off? Posi like positions, I mean, it's, it's, of course. Like who gets it? Or... <laughs> you don't have to be gross. You come on, that's, that's, that's very personal. We're all heard of you brought it up. <laughs> well, if, well, you two blew each other. I went down. I'm sorry. I'm you trying to get gross. <laughs> Listen, George is not only in a gay marriage; he's in the gayest marriage. Well, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm right. just curious. If... This is a Howard Stern show. I know. Yeah. George is back in town. 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 George is back in right, town. George is back in And I am happy. Yes, it's you are. It's a great time. A <laughs> summer of weddings. So you made love to Brad the night before you got your license. marriage license. And was it on a night you typically don't make love? Because I know you have set nights. That's Well, Sunday. Right. Sunday's the... the um, Actually, it's the morning, Sunday morning. Is the always, always. No when matter you, what. When you should be in church, you're fucking a guy. <laughs> well, I am in church. <laughs> Sunday morning, always, right? Sunday morning, always. Right. Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> and then this was not a Sunday, was it? No, it was a. Um, I think it was a. Uh, Monday. Monday. So Monday. right. So Sunday you had your normal sex. Right. And, and then Sunday all, night we did. And Sunday night you did yes. because of Monday. Monday. Because so Monday. It was a double header. And Monday night nothing happened. We were <laughs> really we were exhausted. Oh, well. I, I could have gone. Hard <laughs> <better pass up. laughs> you wanted to what Monday night is when you watch football. So why would you? Brad had had was all frozen up. He was so, you know, he was a nervous wreck. Right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. Is because he first getting cold feet? We're talking to George. No, because Maybe there Brad was, is getting cold No, feet. because there's, um, you know, he's not used to all this attention. I mean, I understand. But he they was were going, at home. He was going, no, but he was going down to City Hall, and reporters are going to cover this thing. And What about your penis? <laughs> <laughs> the one show, Good Morning America, the, I, I think it was Good Morning America, you guys were next to each other, and... And Brad, he was he was had a, had a smile concreted to his face. <laughs> yeah, right. that expression never changed. And he kept like, you know, yeah, <laughs> you guys did look like the happiest two we people did, a lot. We did feel Which great. Which was nice. Brad, Brad, Brad looks like a guy who's not out of the closet and just got outed. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> it's It's hard on Brad. It is hard. But you don't think this will have any de deleterious effect? On... Deleterious? <laughs> it's going to be a joyful thing. You, you don't see it changing at all when you say those vows and now you're committed to each other. Well, you know, we've never gone there before, so right. we don't know what's going to happen. But I know 
for me,、mm-hmm. it's going to be wonderful. You know,、All、because、right. we're going to have our family and friends. How many we, people are you inviting to the wedding? Well, we're getting married in the、uh, Democracy Forum of the Japanese American National Museum, and the capacity is. 200. Right. And, you know, we have a long, long list of dear friends. So we feel terrible that we couldn't、uh, invite them all.、Uh, you guys are invited. Yes, I know you. that,、uh, you know, you have a show on Monday. We, we sent our regrets, but we、I、did、know. send a gift. Oh, it's, bless your heart. It's, you know, we. Thank you so much. That's very thoughtful.、Yes. We、right. haven't seen it yet, but、uh, we appreciate it very much. It's very kind of you. And. I made a donation. Yes, I know. You were so generous. Thank you. And that's very important what Artie did. Because what did he do? We,、uh, he gave a, a, a very generous donation to the、uh, human rights campaign. Well, that's what、But、it said. In, in the card, it said、right. you、oh. could either send money or. In lieu of a gift, we, we, actually, which was very、yeah. nice. It said you could、uh, donate to the、uh, human rights campaign, and that's what I did. But Arnie was on heroin at the time. He didn't mean to write that check. <laughs> no, this was, this was before heroin. Well,、oh. that was about why the, the sum was so generous. By the way, George. Why. Oh, is that why? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm always generous, George. And the reason for that is, you know, there's a ballot measure coming up in November in California. People who want to nullify the Supreme Court's、uh, ruling and take away our marriage. Oh, no. And Arnie is. You mean as soon as you、that. get married, you could be nullified?、Uh, well, we're going we're gonna to fight it to the nail. Do、uh, you believe、really、people are wasting their time? Really? Arnold Schwarzenegger, good for him, is on our side this time. Well, Finally, he, he got on the right side. Well, remember on this show, you yelled at him and you told、I、him、did. off. And,、uh, <laughs> it obviously got through his head. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought that <laughs> name up. <laughs> hey, Arnold hurt himself this weekend. What did he do? What did he do? I forget it now exactly what happened to him, but. He's hurt his leg again. It's like he's falling apart. Well,、uh, there he is. Yeah, he's, he's carrying a lot of weight now. Is, is he? Yes. He's heavy. Not only physically, but also,、uh, you know, we have a horrible. We don't have a budget for next year yet.、Mm-hmm. Right. And he's been trying to cut this and cut that. And uh, uh, the uh, prison workers, are,、uh, guards are campaigning against him.、Wow. The school teachers are、uh, going out on strike against、wow. him. He's got a lot on his head.、He's、By the way, George,、lot. I wanted you to also know that there is a new Artie sitting next to you. I know. Since your return, Artie is now seeing a therapist. He's in intensive recovery. Well, he, he, he congratulated me. When, when I first saw him、uh, this morning, I said, you know, I am so proud of you, Artie, because this came on His own initiative. Well, you、no、know what? Made him do it. Artie gave me a book as a gift,、uh, the John Belushi book, which I now have at my home. And、uh, I always keep it on my desk, and I pick it up from time to time, and I start reading it. And I said, you know, it's a good thing Artie got help because you were really getting into the Belushi craziness kind of thing. Well, the the that the, the bigger one,、died. like the bigger book that I gave the you, the big、right? book you gave me. Yeah, that that that's got the most fascinating. The last like thirty pages of that 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 sort of、uh, goes over the last two months of his life. It's w- fallen into darkness. Was so chaotic. Yes. And、uh, insanely, and he, but a lot of it reminds me. That's what drugs happen. That's what the, I mean. He was doing. A lot, but a lot of it reminded me of you. Right. And、uh, now, but there's one happy ending here because Artie is now with us. Do you? Are you saying、and、that he,、uh, John Belushi, never did what Artie is doing? That's right. That's right. Well, there's、didn't. no evidence that he ever tried to, to get. And、uh, well, that book claims that yeah, Dan Aykroyd was going to like fly out and put handcuffs on him and take him away. Like the, everybody, like it was. Just, <laughs> they knew he was in trouble. Right. You know, but. What a great talent! It reminded me of like how he put the Blues Brothers together.、Oh, Belushi, yeah. yeah, Belushi was like crazed about the blues and loved it, and used to carry around all these cassette tapes. Also, makes you realize like this before iPods and you know CDs, he had cassettes. Right. And he was mailing cassettes to people. He was obsessed with the blues, and then he started to put together sort of a, a band, and, and then the thing took off on、right. Saturday Night Live. Like no one, everyone expected it to be shit. Record companies turned them down. Yeah. And I'm thinking, gee, what a great creative force! The guy really did a lot of funny things. And then he died, of course,、uh, uh, at a very young age, 33, doing a speedball, you know, with some girl in a room, and, and that was the end of him. And the parallels between how him and Farley died are so—it's—it's it's actually kind of eerie. They were both 33. They both died with some shady broad giving them drugs. Right.、Uh, I think that chick actually shot up Belushi. That's what she admitted to.、Right. She went away for manslaughter. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if she ever admitted or not, but I don't remember. She, well, she got convicted of manslaughter.、Yeah. She did time. And how old、uh, are you now? 
I'm 40. I got seven years Muffin, on them. Muffin, you are on them and, the best. and Jesus. You <laughs> you're the best. I, <laughs> Thank you. And I saw you on uh, on Entourage. Oh and yeah. You were glowing. Oh, thank. You. I mean, when you shave yourself. Well, you know. Leslie Bibb. I was kissing Leslie Bibb on the lips. Yes, you sure were. <laughs> saying when he shaves. He wasn't him, acting. When he shaves himself, he looks better. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks great. And right now, too, look at his eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you feel great too. How much? Uh, how many days you sober? I feel awesome. Uh, guy, I have uh, uh, 19 days. Look at this, George. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. You know, you make all the rest of us feel good, too. Oh, really? You are a delicious-looking customer. <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, Brad is in trouble. Uh, uh, Artie's probably hot now, actually. Yeah, but, well. <laughs> that's why he's glowing. <laughs> Kathy Evelyn Smith did three years. Actually. She did do three years. Yeah, wow. Kathy oh, Smith. Oh, man. Mm. Uh, so, anyway, uh, that's an update on George. It's an update on Artie. Look at all the good things that are happening, George. Very right positive. Here. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, yes, by the way, I do want to mention again that George is back in town. George is back. George, George is back is in back town. town. George Takei, of course, our announcer. Mm. Ah, yes, George. I love black wax. <laughs> I love black wax. <laughs> I know you know. Uh, yes. I love. I love black wax. Oh, my. George is back in town. And everyone's happy. George is laughing it up. Oh, I feel very welcome now. Soon to be a bride. Uh, George. Now, who's the fiancé and who's the groom? Well, George Both is the fiancé. The fiancé. Do you introduce Brad now as your fiancé? My spouse to be. Yeah. Spouse to be, yes. There's not no fiance. particular term like fiance for. This is well, my. Well, you don't say this is my boyfriend. You say this is my fiance. My spouse to be. My spouse to be. Is that the new gay? Because they're gay terms. Because you got to get a word for that. Spouse right. to be is cumbersome. You know, in a way, you're. Or you're, fiance. You know, in a way, you're. Your fiance. You know, in a way, you're pioneering what's going to happen in the future for gay couples in the sense that you are determining even the way you introduce your fiance. Yeah, we are blazing a new trail, I think. But, you know, I look forward to the. You know, my aunt's married to a Caucasian man. Right. And in the 40s, that was... Taboo. Against the Constitution. Right. Until the California uh, Supreme Court in 1948. A white who, man could... A white woman could not marry a... A Asian man. Wow. Or or, or a other black man. Yeah. yeah. You or couldn't marry between minority. races. Yeah. That was against the, the law. Purity of the race was the big. Uh, wow. You didn't know those crop. laws were on the books. I did not. And yeah. it took 19 years before the U.S. <laughs> Supreme Court ruled for uh, uh, interracial marriage. <laughs> By and the way, I don't think it's going to take 19 years for the U.S. Supreme Court to uh, rule for. Marriage equality for gays, lesbians. By the way, in honor of your marriage to Brad, we are going to give you a bachelor party oh, this yeah. week but on the air. I haven't been a bachelor for 21 years. Well, you are but having. You, this is committed. tradition. This is George. tradition. This is you're a pioneer. This what? is something we have to establish. You are getting a bachelor party on the air. You mean you're making me a bachelor party? I'm making you a bachelor party. I think uh, Brad will have a thought or two on that. Well, you I don't have, care. <laughs> like we said, you're a trailblazer, and you have to set the tone. Like no, it or not. but you're tr putting me back on the uh, norm. Just like, because we're you... Not blazing like it or not, you are... Just because you couldn't get married, George. <laughs> yes. We have to do it all as if. Oh. Let me tell I you something, George. The old-fashioned way. You are getting married, and before a marriage, you have a bachelor party. That That's is the way right. it's done. Done, I see. And you should have one. And uh, you, my friend, are going to get the best blowjob from Fred Morris. <laughs> Fred, Fred, tell him what you're going to do to him. Fred's been practicing. Tell him what you're going to do Fred, at the bachelor party to him. From Fred. Oh, oh Fred. <laughs> Fred, you know Fred. Fred, what are you going to do to him? Anal. Anal. Sure. You're going to give him or get him? Let him have it. Uh, we can try both ways. <laughs> <laughs> we call Fred, him, I had no him. idea. We call him Giving Head Fred. <laughs> I, do, I do a thing called a propeller spin. Fred, Fred is going to um, give you a naked lap dance. Uh, 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 right. No, actually, we have a lot of events Actually, planned. it'll be a foot race if you can catch me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> actually, we have a lot of uh, gay events planned for George's bachelor party. So this is what the tradition is. Well, we're starting. You're, 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 you're 
not letting me blaze a trail, Robin. <laughs> some of the things, said. some of the things we'll be doing. I'm going to see if I can do this from memory because we planned it last week. You're going to have songs, you know, married. Oh, everybody will yes. sing, right? Everyone is singing. <laughs> oh, I get to sit back and listen and enjoy. Yeah, you're the bachelor. All right. Uh, then uh, you're going to have, well, we think we're getting in here. I don't know if it's been arranged yet. Which one? The guy with the 14-inch cock. <laughs> he's uh, he's coming. He's coming. He's really? Coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> you know, it'll be perfect for the gay badger party. We sh during it. We should uh, might as well get the Mike Walker game out of the way. Oh, oh. there you go. Well, well, what are, what is a lap event? dance on um, my muffin? Isn't. Oh, no, no, we're not doing lap dances. He's just going to show you it. I, 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 we got the guy with the 14 inch cock. I love um, you, George. And, George, you'll uh, be able to help us judge the prettiest penis contest. Oh, right. My. George, there's going to be a pretty penis contest. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Because I feel the cold coming out. So, on. this yeah. is tradition, is fun. it? Yes. You remember to watch. Also. also I believe Sal and Richard are going to hide things in their ass. Nice. Yes, you're going to play Guess What's in My Ass. Oh, I hope Brad isn't listening. Oh, this is your bad. But it's not your ass. It's their ass. You have to guess what's in their ass. What's in their ass. Right. Right. I don't understand. A little new twister with Richard and Sal. New twister. Richard and Sal are going to be naked. You don't have to be George. but They agreed to play. I don't have to touch Sal's penis. Well, we don't know how the game is being played. Right. And then the last thing was, and I haven't spoken to you about this, Howard, I couldn't pull it off live, but on the phone maybe i'm going to have um the cowboy from the village people is going to sing ymca to you right oh that's fantastic yeah that'd be wonderful for your, for oh, your why couldn't party. you have him here he's just he's on the road right now oh I we got to get him in he's, very busy. Yeah, he's on the road very busy. i mean it's, it's on the road again so anyway george that is your gay bachelor party all right isn't um, tradition wonderful? <laughs> this yeah. is what tradition is. is it? So we're going to have that for you. It should be jam-packed with lots of hot guys and big cock. Oh, All right. Wow. Well, 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 I, I do that. feel uh, that flu is coming back. What day are we doing? <laughs> you got to tickle in your I throat? think I got to get it. This is going to knock Artie right uh, off the wagon. I, I suspect <laughs> it's going to be. Oh, I'm sorry. It's oh, going to be something like this. I hope that doesn't this. happen. Hello, <laughs> Hello Gary. It's all right. Yeah. Look, I'm having a, uh, I'm sick. As much as Howard, did you realize? This is a Monday and that Artie's I'm here, here and Artie's here. Yeah, well, this I, is forgot you were, I forgot you were coming in. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, I, uh, That's what therapy does to you. Yeah, yeah. God, listen, it's Artie. Uh, I, as much as I'd love to judge the prettiest penis contest. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get for coming in on Monday. What is that? Well, George is going to. We're not telling you. George <laughs> is going to judge it. George is going to Yeah, you don't have to judge. Well, I have Sal high standards, Richard, you know. Sal and Richard have agreed to play Nude Twister. Right. That's unfucking believable. <laughs> well, I've seen <laughs> They probably nude. suggested it. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> they love it. God. I'm sure they did. <laughs> well, good luck in the Twister game. Hope you win, George. I'll <laughs> be able to beat those oh, guys. Oh, is there a win in losing? Sure. Oh, sure. I can yeah. lose the game. If yeah. you're in the game, you're automatically you're a loser. A loser. <laughs> George, what qualities will you look for in the prettiest penis contest? Prettiest penis. Yeah. Well, volume. Right. Mm. Proportion. Mm. Um... Balance, right? <laughs> All the aesthetics. What about Vainage. veins? Do you like veins <laughs> or not? Fit oh, my yes, ass. Yes. You do. Not too not much. Not too much. Overly and veiny. Not too little. But you know, like you know, muscles. And you you want to see a little bit of some it. definition. Absolutely. Do you, do you want it shaved or unshaved? Uh, unshaved would be nice. Although some. Shaved would be nice too. It all depends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being very diplomatic. Are there going to be a, a circumcised division and an uncircumcised? Would division? you prefer circumcised or when you judge a penis, <laughs> do you find the uncircumcised ones prettier or the circumcised ones well, prettier? Brad finds uncircumcised uh, more, you know, attractive. Uh, really? But. Um, with me, it all depends on the penis itself. Hmm. Well, so you have no preference. <laughs> what a diplomat. No, I, it depends on, you know, again, again, as I said, the proportion. Are you circumcised? Uh, no. You are not. I'm not. So sometimes when you're judging, will you ask, uh, let's say the uncircumcised man comes in here, will you ask him to pull back his uh, glands so that you can. I might, yes. You might. Oh, my. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord. Wow. Artie, are you ready oh, this, for this? No, I am I, boldly going where I've never gone before. <laughs> well, uh, for those guys listening, I know there's a...
How many people we got in this contest? Never been to a traditional bachelor party, so this is what it's like. <laughs> yes, a lot of hijinks, a lot of gay hijinks will be going on here in the studio. Well, I hope you enjoy your bachelor party. Well, thank you for this gift. Sounds you, like it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like they'll be vomiting. <laughs> oh, no, no. I... Artie, you can take it. You're a man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with our announcer and so many other things. But uh, first, we have to take this small break, uh, and uh, and we'll be back right after this. All right. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, okay. Uh, so as long as uh, we have George here, George was on the wrap-up show yesterday where he uh, talked about his wedding in full detail. And I learned who few, planned this wedding. Uh, George Brad. Yeah. We no, but I'm just. Yeah. Did 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 one of you take more of a? It an was interest? a collaborative thing. I see. So here you go. Here is a George. Uh, a couple of quick clips, because I know you missed it, Robin, and yeah. you should hear this. And Artie, I know you want every little detail. <laughs> Here we go. This is uh, just a couple of co a couple of clips. Well, before the wedding starts, there's uh, a wonderful, beautiful singer who's going to start out singing uh, "Climb Every Mountain," and then uh, when uh, we come in, uh, they're going to be we're going to be marching down to um, one singular sensation from the chorus line. Oh my God! <laughs> this is a gay wedding. Yeah, this is we <laughs> love musical comedy. One. <laughs> Singular sensation. Every you do little like step we take. Every little ass you buy. George, are you, you going to be high stepping into yeah, this wedding? Oh, no, no, no. We're just going to be marching. Brad doesn't uh, do high that. Step. But I can see you, like, you step. I can see you kicking one leg out as you, you know, like, in other words, you kick the leg out. I could be tempted to do that. One singular <laughs> sensation. Every little step you take. You love it. Uh, that's a real gay wedding. Uh, we're show people, you know. What? We love show uh, uh, every uh, musicals, and um, uh, we have a back by. You know, it's you know, why climb every mountain. Robin asked a good question. Why climb? Well, uh, it's it, you know there has been a struggle to get to this point. Oh, yeah, but George, forget there. that. This is all about romance. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and uh, the, the romance will be there. Brad's cock One is a mountain. singular sensation. <laughs> and... The metaphor here, Brad's cock is a mountain, and <laughs> George is, George is no. the Edmund Hillary of... <laughs> That's a ponderosa pie. And, uh... <laughs> all right, let's hear more details, because uh, this was rather interesting, as John Hine and Gary Delabate get something out of George right. that we could not. We have uh, one still cameraman. And uh, we've agreed to give uh, an exclusive to People Magazine. So if I'm, if I'm not out of line asking, are you paid for the exclusive? No, no. So you should tell your publicist to get paid for the exclusive, and then you could donate the money because you can get paid for those. And never then, thought of that. And then yeah. donate it to charity. And then donate it to charity. In other words, somebody might be willing. You know, InStyle Magazine is a perfect example. They do all these weddings. They might be looking for a. How, how much would they pay? It could be up to a hundred grand yeah. sometimes. A hundred dollars. A hundred grand. A hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh. I told George, Naive innocent me. I told George if he's getting a hundred dollars, maybe he ought to pass. A hundred dollars. It's a little insulting. Yeah, don't take a hundred. Hello, um, OK Magazine. Uh, I have a deal with people, but I want to give you the exclusive for the right amount of money. We'll give you a hundred dollars. OK. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even know they uh, paid that much. I don't, I don't mean to be greedy, but how about one hundred twenty-five dollars? <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's we'll start the bidding. Oh, tonight. You can see me win the hundred and six thousand dollars, which I gave to charity, right. on uh, Wanna Bet on ABC no, nine p.m. Okay. Are you supposed to give away Wanna the ending? Bet. Yeah, why watch? Oh, <laughs> oh well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we already know the outcome. You win a hundred six thousand dollars. One hundred six thousand dollars. I was uh, competing with Sherry Shepard, and uh, well, I can see why you'd beat her. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks the world is flat. All right. What uh, What is the show? It's called Wanna Bet. Is it a new show? It's a new show. It's a summer, you summer know, replacement a game show. show. I believe yeah. the show I've seen, it's where you sit there and you have to bet whether or not the person will do a certain stunt, whether they can exactly. do it. Exactly. Some preposterous uh, yeah. activity. Like uh, one of those uh, on our show was a German guy who uh, can lick a CD and 
by his licking. He can tell uh, what the song is and who the artist is. <laughs> That's means. ridiculous. Isn't that preposterous? Yeah. But anyone who claims to be able to do something that outrageous, you know, has got, so, got there's got to be some legitimacy to it. So Sherry Shepard bet that he could do it? And she bet he couldn't. Right. And I bet he could. And wow, he did and it? he did? And I won, yes. You're telling me the guy could lick a CD. And tell it was what the amazing, song was. yeah. Well, what, how do you explain that? Did the guy explain well, he it? Apparently, yeah, he apparently has very sensitive tongue and he did. <laughs> Gets a lot of practice. There's probably it. some real small print on this thing. And you look close and you get what it. song was it that uh, he was able I to I can't remember about? what it was. we got to uh, get that guy in year, here. Actually. I can't even believe what you're telling me. Isn't it was uh, Lick or, It Up by Kiss or <laughs> which thing is Lick It Up, Dockin? <laughs> we got to get him in here. I want to see that. Uh, yeah. They flew him over from Germany. Yeah. I think he's from Munich or something. Who is Sherry Shepard? She's, She's on, on The, the View. View. She's that uh, fat black chick who thinks the world is flat. She was uh, said, I don't know that the world is round. How I've do you know that? I've never seen it. I've never uh, seen the world. <laughs> oh, that broad, yeah. 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 Oh, she's, funny. she's a fucking piece of work. <laughs> I've never seen the world. Have you? Have you seen it for yourself? How you know the world is Prove flat. it. Prove it. And she's never seen anyone lick a You CD. don't know OJ did it. <laughs> you don't have a videotape. Did see it? You didn't have a videotape of that. I think the World Trade Centers are still standing. <laughs> they just uh, got some invisible paint on those motherfuckers. Sherry Shepard, that's a genius. Will there be any Star Trek element in the wedding at all? This might look and sound like a Star Trek element, but uh, they really are our good friends. My uh, best man's going to be, our best man's going to be uh, Walter Koenig. Oh, great. Who played Chekhov. And the uh, best lady, uh, initially we were calling her uh, Matron of Honor, but she didn't like the word matron. So we decided on best, best lady, and that's Nichelle Nichols. Oh, that's great. That's uh, awesome, uh, but but it's but it's it's got the Star Trek element. But you're doing it because they're really they friends. really are genuine. You know, you know, we have them over for dinner, and we've been over to their home for dinner parties in each other's house. And they, and you know, Walter was the first one who kind of uh, smelled who I really am. Right. And, <laughs> that was all right. Let me smell your ass. <laughs> what, was your ass burning from a night before? Well, you were just Walter, I meant to say smelled out. out. Totally self Walter, he smelled. Walter, Walter figured out that you were gay? Yes, he did. How did he know? I don't know. I, you know, there must be some... Maybe he can lick you. He has He can lick you and tell what you want. <laughs> Howard, Walter was sitting next to him for what three years. I'm sitting. Next to him. <laughs> if I didn't know, I think I'd know. <laughs> well, you know how I first knew that he knew. We were standing at uh, the copier, and you know, in the morning when you uh, get into makeup and you re report to the set, you hang out at the copier. And, right. And uh, we were talking to each other, and he started making these gestures for me to turn around and look. You know. And so I turned around, and behind me was an extra, young extra, a gorgeous-looking young hunk, uh, wearing the tight Star Trek uh, <laughs> uniform. Uh -huh. oh. And then that's when I knew that Walter... That he knew. He was trying to help you get laid. <laughs> right, right. He was pointing out something you might like. He was your wingman. He was my wingman. That's yeah. a weird way to and tell you, though. he was my best man. Right. But that's a weird way for you to find out. Like, how did you react to that? Like, did you say, hey, uh, thanks. Why would you show me a young man? <laughs> <laughs> I want pussy. Right, I mean, you know. I guess I'd sent out enough uh, messages already by that time. Right. You mean by see, talking and oh, just yeah. acting? He'd like seen me, <laughs> you know, admiring some of the oh. pictures. And, and right. And you you know, the, the kind of extras that I looked at. I mean, we had some gorgeous girls, too. You know, alien, uh, sure. green skinned uh, aliens on the set. And I looked at the green skinned men rather than the women. <laughs> the, dynamic more, with, the dynamic with extras on those shows, they're not allowed. It's I don't know what it was like in the 60s, but like. At Man TV, at Man TV <laughs> we didn't have a like budget. Uh, we didn't have a budget for stand-in, so we had to do all that camera blocking ourselves. Right. The extras would come for it because they had to be there too. And I guess there were enough incidents by then where extras were not allowed to talk to us unless we spoke to them, and it was so odd. And there was sometimes when there was a really hot chick that. It was a couple of guys in the sketch who were trying to figure out how to approach her. Uh -huh. And uh, I banged a couple extras myself there, but uh, it, it, you feel like you're preying on these needy people. <laughs> it's almost like vampires when they have those like those people that service them. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? The humans yeah. that they yeah. drain every once in a yeah, while. Right. One of the guys on the show was just a real ladies' man. He wants to fuck like 
four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they, and, but they're walking around in, in these ridiculous sketches and stuff like you know, like I'm in a pig outfit or whatever. And uh, yeah, they got their ticket to getting laid when you're in one of those special outfits. Definitely, because yeah. they know like you're a regular, and the show was so not a hit. We had to explain like, look, we're a regular. Have you ever seen the show? Like, no. But um, they, uh, it was such an odd thing. I mean, I don't, I don't want to bad mouth extras, but. There's lifelong extras out there who make, you know, 60, 70 grand a year doing extra work. It's what they do for a living. Some right. of them even give up on becoming mainstream actors. They live out there and they have a community together. And most of them seem to be odd, like off-center people, right. you know, like a stalker thing. But some of them were just these young, smoking hot fucking chicks. They want to figure out what's going on in the yeah, business. Definitely, get... yeah. 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 Recognize, yeah. <laughs> so, George, when you were on the set, did you ever gay bash at all or talk badly about gays to try to hide that you were gay? Like, oh, look at that guy. He's a girl. No, I did not. I, I yeah. uh, you know... I put on the facade of uh, a liberal, you know, and try right. to get people to be more broad. -minded. Well, you are a liberal. I am a liberal, but <laughs> you know, it, but a heterosexual <laughs> liberal. <laughs> but it was not a like, gay you know, liberal. Right. You know, I'm fine it was a with gay people. <laughs> I'd fuck a guy. Uh, I'm totally straight, right? I mean, like I, you, would, you would be the guy who go, you know, I'm not gay, but I certainly that, understand that their right. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. I mean, yeah. Well, I, I really didn't make that preface either. Right. You know, but I just uh, gave the impression that. I I'm straight, but, you know. Yeah, you would say, like, I, I need some pussy, but I certainly understand <laughs> the need for cock. Last night's pussy was great, but it could have been cock. Did you bring <laughs> women to parties because you wanted to keep people off the... I did. Yeah. I did. It was I, broads. I, <laughs> they thought something was going to happen. They you know, and there were premieres, <laughs> and you, you had to have someone on your arm. Right, right. What a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I got into this nice dress, and the nothing's going to happen. The beard. Isn't it amazing how much time you waste in life with that kind of right. You know, it really is true. It is. It yeah. was a late I mean, you know, there was some, some became very good friends, right. you know, and others, you know, uh, were kind of Just, ornaments, you know. Right. That, yeah. Had Here, for the, here's yeah. George from the wrap-up show yesterday. Right. This wasn't what I'd call creepy, but uh, <laughs> shocking. I, I was at the baths. As a matter of fact, in Indianapolis, Indiana. They have baths I there? Mean, middle America. Right by the uh, And I was there in a different capacity. I was there for a tra I, I was on the board of the uh, Southern California Rapid Transit District, and we had a transit conference there. And so I, I wasn't in the Star Trek, you know, context. But one night I went to the baths, and this was pre-Brad, right. and there was this gorgeous young guy, <laughs> from, you know, Indiana. Corbett. And uh, it was Larry Bird. I was oh. following him in the corridors, and um, he went into that room, and I kind of leaned on the doorway and wow. and said, "Hi, how are you?" And uh, he looked up. And I saw his eyes light up, and he said, Sulu? Uh, <laughs> and suddenly, <laughs> that prickly sense of, oh, my God, you know, uh, and, uh, and the sense of, uh, well, you know, I was starting to get excited and all of a sudden limp. Uh. Wow. Can I say George is the best guest we've ever had? Is it real? It's a turn off when they go Sulu, huh? Because uh, you don't expect, you know, you, you expect, you're, you're uh, anonymous. Right. And suddenly they recognize you. You know, the yeah. whole thing was the mystery and the uh, excitement of anonymity. Is that your phaser or are you just happy to see <laughs> Set your phaser to stun. It, it certainly is on stunning. You know who else went to a uh, bathhouse? Who? Was... John Hine? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> What's he going to do there? Uh, David Letterman, I believe. David Letterman? Do really? you remember? Thank you for calling. How may I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Very good. My name's Vinny Favale. Are you familiar with David Letterman? Yes, I am. Okay. We'd like to make some arrangements to shut down the club for a couple of hours and have him come in. Have him come in in where? To the gay bathhouse. Have David Letterman come in to the bathhouse. Well, hold, hold on because here's, here's Rupert. Rupert happens to be David's lover. Hold on. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm Rupert. I'm, uh, I'm in with Dave. Okay. We want to find a little bit about your facilities. All right. Let me put Dave on the phone. Okay. Hold on one second. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Yeah. Is is this the? Uh, have I got the uh, the bathhouse? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me let me ask you something now. Uh, this you know this is this is very uh, between us. No problem. All right. Now let me. Are are there are there towel boys available? Um, they're not towel boys. Yeah. Uh, but there are guys in here, customers who come in here who wear towels. <laughs> and, and what's what's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah. I'm African American. Oh, black. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so you're, you're pretty well hung, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty well hung. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of money, and I know you, uh, you, you black people like a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would assume any nationality. What do you, what do you say money. we get together? Uh, <laughs> your, your penis and my money. <laughs> you know we've got internships coming up uh, pretty soon. You know. But I'm sure you can find... Stop laughing, you homo. <laughs> Are you a top or a bottom, sir? I'm a verse. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so your log is brown and you want to get up to browner, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, I, I think we could do that. <laughs> So you guys come Do you ever get a little mud on the helmet? Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, but uh, don't like it. Don't like Are you a big fan of Paul Schaefer's? Uh, 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 yeah, sure. He's a great musician. You you could taste his ass on my cock. <laughs> I, I pay him in cock, and, and he sucks a big dick. <laughs> How can I help you? Because I have other customers right now. Can I fuck you in the ass, sir? No. We'll, we'll, we'll make it a stupid human trick. <laughs> Are you guys coming down here? I'll, I'll give you my top ten inches. How would that be? <laughs> hey, are you there? Homo. Hello, Homo. <laughs> Punch packer. Yoo hoo. Well, there he is. I told That's you. Terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Uh, by the way, George did admit that uh, he has a type of man that he's interested oh, in. Oh, my God. Really? Okay, listen to this. This is not the most diplomatic, but there are certain types that uh, are my type. And Howard's a wonderful guy. He's uh, a very, he's got a great mind. He's got a great personality. He's a, a tremendous interviewer, and I have enormous admiration and respect for him. But uh, given this nature of my description of him, I think you get an idea of uh, he's not quite my type. I know for some people, the quality of the personality overcomes the looks, but not in this case. You need the you need the physical attraction as well. Well, you know, uh, Brad was a fantastic human animal uh, when I first met him. <laughs> when you see him now, you know, I mean, we we're all you know on that treadmill, and uh, right. he's no longer the the the, the lean, muscled racehorse that he was. <laughs> Did you like to hear that? <laughs> Good way to well, answer as that a matter too. of fact, you know, I wanted to capture that, so um, I I got a, a very fine artist, uh, Denis Ponty, to uh, paint him as um, he was then. Oh, that's great. I wanted to remember him, you know, <laughs> nude. Yeah. And um, <laughs> as a um, remembrance of um, Brad now, I got another uh, great uh, artist, Don Bacardi, who uh, you may have heard of, uh, to do... A nude of Brad today. So I had a before, <laughs> before and after. And after. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, George, wow. why not just take wow. a photograph of the man? I mean, why? Yeah, why are you having these guys well, paint him? You know, what, what is with the painting? Guys? I know these uh, wonderful artists, great artists, you right. know. And, I mean, that uh, means Brad's got to be there nude and stand there and pose uh, that's for a, hours. That's the rough part. He said it mm. was difficult. And so... Uh, the uh, second time around with uh, Don Bacardi, he uh, <laughs> chose a sitting down position, not right. standing up. Well, he, and Brad likes to be nude and pose for hours in a reclining position. Well, he um, he comes from a nudist family. When he was oh. a kid, of course, his parents took him to a, a nudist camp, and right. uh, you know, in the summertime, I'm just saying, it's turned a lot him of, gay. It's no. a lot. I know he's busy running your empire. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of hours standing there nude in front of these <laughs> painters when you and can just take a photograph. When, well, uh, with uh, with um, Don Bacardi, it was just one day. One day. Yeah. One day of posing. He, that was all he could take, Don Bacardi. <laughs> yeah. Now. 
why, have Brad's parents gotten out of prison yet? He wasn't a mean racehorse <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Well, all right. Oh, uh, I'd love to see these before and afters. No, I, where I would, are these paintings? Where can we it's, see the paintings? It's in the bedroom. Oh, both of them. Yes. Yes. We can get oh, we won't see them unless you bring them out to the living room. <laughs> I, would love to see, I would love to put on my website. Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll never, that day will never come. Would you like to see? Uh, he, won't, he won't allow So it. when guests yeah. come over like Michelle Nichols and Walter Koenig and they come to your home. They've and, never seen them. But you, you don't bring them to your bedroom. Well, but, you know, they're in the uh, dressing room part of the... Uh, uh -huh. Walter, can I uh, freshen up your drambouille? And, uh, <laughs> would you like to see Brad's cock? <laughs> Two times. <laughs> So the paintings, they they live in a room that is a closet, so to speak. So they, well, the dressing area. Dressing area, and, and you never bring people into there. No. What about cleaning people? They get oh, the see. cleaning people see. Oh, they yeah. have to do see them yeah, every day. Have. When you hire them, do you say to them, look? Uh, well, it's Adelia. Adelia. Do you, a, a say to, do you say to her, listen, there's going to be a nude picture of Brad. I don't want you to get frightened when you walk in there. You know, I don't remember mentioning it to her. She just cleans. Right. Know? And uh, she didn't make a big thing out of it. Do you ever pleasure yourself to the picture? Do you ever look at it and uh, in whack the off? Shower? No, I can't see it from the shower. Right, okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're a good interviewer, Howard. <laughs> Michelle, have you seen Brad's painting? <laughs> And, uh, well, anyway, there, there's a couple of moments from the wrap-up show that I thought I'd share with you. <laughs> Indianapolis, uh, you don't think, uh, I've been there. Uh, it's you don't right think across the street. Yeah, you know where the Capitol, Capitol is? Yeah. It's right, right on that street. I was there. right there. Shit. Isn't that something? <laughs> you messed up. When you hire it's a, very discreet. When you hire a painter to do a nude of your, your man... Does he ever make the penis bigger, like 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 slightly bigger, to just sort of should. be complimentary? Well, as a matter of fact, Brad, I shouldn't be talking on the air like this. Come <laughs> on, George, is just us. Oh, it's just us. Yes, <laughs> the just audience before. knows every fucked up part about the rest of us. <laughs> no, but well, it's Brad told me, yeah, that um, you know he's older now, and um, he was sitting down. So, um, you know, he wasn't uh, the way he wanted me to see him. Oh, right. However, Don Bacardi did uh, use his artistry. Uh, his imagination. <laughs> I'm sure Don has some, uh, you know, memories of Cox uh, from other paintings. Oh, but Don, so Don was able to draw in a, a, a slightly longer schlong and a, a bit more... Uh, Volume. Yeah, because I think yeah. what you're saying is when Brad was sitting down now, the penis would invert. Right. And you'd see like a little turtle head. <laughs> uh, An acorn. Could he make the penis black as well for the a young extra one is uh, him standing. So Brad's point was he looked acorn like, as Fred said. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, he wanted to be. Sweet well, I wasn't acorn. there. I didn't see right. it. So, right. uh, you know, that's what he told me. Oh, well, I see. It's nice of him to share. I wouldn't tell you that. I'd say, yes, wow, he captured length beautifully. <laughs> no, we have an honest relationship. And he tells me everything. And in the first painting, was Brad erect or was he flaccid? He was flaccid, but, you know, very but well hung. Fully but. on display. <laughs> are the artists now, I, you don't have to answer this, obviously, but are these artists uh, gay themselves? or? Well, Don Bacardi uh, was uh, Christopher Isherwood's lover. So that means he's gay. Yeah. Uh, he's the kind of guy, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you can't figure this out. Who's Christopher Isherwood? <laughs> Christo uh, he wrote uh, I'm a Camera. Oh. And uh, that uh, became a cabaret I don't you know, not know. <laughs> in musical theater. All right, so this guy, because, so another, w w if, if, let me ask you something gaydar-wise. If someone on our staff wanted to take a nude picture of a young boy, and yes. was gonna, mm. do you think it's odd that a heterosexual guy could do that, or do you think he might have some gay tendencies? No, uh, well, is artist is an artist. Uh, you know, uh, an artist is an artist. Artist so, is artist. Well, this guy's not an artist. <laughs> no. <laughs> he he just wants to from take it. pictures of a young guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, no, that's not art, no. <laughs> is Brad the He's, only lover you've had painted, or have you done this with other men? No, just, just, just Brad. Brad. Just Brad. All right, so there's, These a whole, there's, not a whole, there's so no whole gallery. No, there's right, no really, gallery. There's no rogue And gallery. Brad wouldn't allow it either. <laughs> Let's no. say I want a nude of Beth, okay? I want yes. to paint it. How much money does that cost? Uh, well, it depends on the artist. Right, of course. Um, Denis was, at that time, a uh, young, upcoming uh, artist. Yeah. Um, Don is an established... And so how much for an established artist to paint someone nude? Um, in the tens of thousands. Wow. Well, that's not cheap. No. Howard, you, you, you got had... a guy to pay you for that. What, are you kidding me? What year was the Don Bacardi done? <laughs> the, uh, a few months ago. Oh, you're uh, kidding. Last month, isn't it? Oh, right? wow. 
Wow. Very recently. As we have know, to go over and see these. Really? I know you are, you're not going to see it. <laughs> Let's see. That may be the cause of divorce. <laughs> I made a wrong turn and I'm in the dressing room. <laughs> now, what does Brad do? Does he shave down for these paintings? I mean, how do his balls look? Are they all hairy when uh, it's he gets painted? natural. Natural, so you yes. can even see hair and things. It, you can indeed. Oh, wow. now shut Don won't do it any other way. <laughs> a little brand well, he did it. You know, uh, use a little artistry. Oh, right. Yeah, he says I should play the last clip from the wrap-up All show. Right. All right. Oh, George my. is going to play Guess What's in My Ass, where Vincent and Sal put uh, things in their butt, and, they, and you ask questions. It's almost like, you know, is it bigger than a bread box? You ask questions, and you have to guess what's in their ass. And do I have to touch? No. no, no, no. no we, 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 when we talked about it, we took it to account, you know, Brad's feelings. So there's nothing going on here. That we're, like, I didn't get to a lap dance, but I do have a guy with, like, maybe the biggest penis I've ever seen live. Frighteningly scary. Actually, I'd like to touch. He might like it. He's a huge fan. He, the funny thing is, he's not a pretty. He's not a fan of ours, but he's a huge fan of yours. Oh, really? Yeah. He doesn't. He actually doesn't like us. A really hung guy. Yeah. Oh my. That's gonna be some bachelor party. Oh, he'd really like to touch. Right. I love black wag. I love black wag. Oh. Yes. I love. I love black wag. And arty black. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I don't even know that I finished the clip of uh, the last one of George talking about me, but uh, he is not attracted to me oh. physically. Well, yeah, that was pretty clear. Uh, your, yeah. your mind is very attractive. It's a shame it's not in another yeah. body, is what he said. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, uh, gay men are not attracted to me. Why is that? I, I mean, either. none of them. I Thank think God. I'm uh, as good looking as Brad. I do. I mean, uh, you know, come on. You're a young, lean, raise horse. That's right. And you I'm are. in better shape than Brad. Show him your abs. <laughs> See if you can turn him on. It's all right. <laughs> At the bachelor party, I'll be wearing a belly shirt, oh. by the way. I don't know if you know. Oh, that. really? Oh, no. Yes, I'm wearing Good. a short, short we'll shirt. Oh, my. I may change my opinion. So when I dance, my shirt will ride up. Right. You'll be able to see my muscular abs. <laughs> Who on the staff is your type? Yeah, yeah we did, did we find uh, that out? I'll tell you who his type is, because I've caught him looking him over. <laughs> oh. I know he likes Will. Oh, right. Young yeah. Will? Yes, Young that's Will. his type. And I think he even likes Gary a little bit, Del Abate. Do you like Gary? A little bit. Well, when you put him beside Jared Fox. Oh, right. forget it. Oh, I got yeah. it. Oh. Jared. Jared is an Adonis, funny, you know, right? George probably knows three or four people's names here. But uh, Jared Fox, he knows both names. Jared is hardly ever in no. here. And he knows uh, JD is seething right now because Jared is his enemy. And, uh, oh, really? Yeah, and you don't, you don't why? remember. You don't know JD, do you? I know JD. Yeah, JD. But why does he I'll not like why. Jared? He's I'll tell you likeable. why. I'll tell JD, you why. Yeah, well, Jared JD. had the audacity to wear a pimp outfit on Halloween. <laughs> JD is the opposite of J Jared's Mr. Popular. Yes. Jared gets all the girls. Yes. Jared goes to the Halloween uh, party with girls, and he's a pimp, and he has a big attitude. <laughs> and uh, JD doesn't get any of this kind of attention. And even now, you're attracted to, to Jared and not JD. Yeah. So, well, uh, no, JD has, you know, his... Well, JD's uh, a twink. You know, he's, I'll tell you a thing. He's, he's, a, he's interesting. Right. You he's, like JD, too? Well, I mean, no. you know, he's he's cute. We, we get it. <laughs> he's cute. We get it. <laughs> you don't have to go into detail. <laughs> so that's why J.D. is resentful of Jared. Right away, you're Jared you don't even jealousy. like him. Yeah, I mean, oh. here's the difference, George. What's J.D.'s last name? I thought it was... Uh, D. D. No. <laughs> so my point is... Oh, he know. has a last name. Yeah. What oh, is it? Of course. So you know, so, so you know, Ugly Meyer. So you know J Jared's last name, but not Jared. <laughs> that's why he gets upset. Oh, well, I better find out his last name then. It's uh, Harmeyer. Harmeyer. Yeah. 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 Real oh, sexy. J D H. How queen. J D H. Yeah. I gotta tell. I gotta tell some people like because this reminds me of Miss Howard TV yesterday. Like the mindset of comedians. Like the guy thing, the sex thing. Still, it overrides any 
need we have for compliments about being funny. Like that chick yesterday saying she she's not attracted to me sexually, but but she thinks I'm funny. Like after she said she's not attracted to me sexually, I don't hear anything else she's right, right. Like I, I would I would rather her go. You're probably the worst comedian I've ever heard. But I'm attracted to you. <laughs> horribly unfunny. When you try to make a joke, it's embarrassing. But God, I want to fuck you. Like yeah. that's what we want. George, it's your day. As you know, you are gay. You are getting married. Uh, you don't have a bachelor party. We decided to give you one as a special treat. I uh, Much appreciate it. Uh, I asked, what, what is the guy's name? But no one gave it to me. It's on the schedule, Howard. Oh, it's on the schedule. Okay, thank you. Jonah Falcon. Jonah has a sports show on public access, which sometimes we call him Bust His Balls. But more importantly, he has something I think that George would really want to see. Jonah's not a huge fan of ours, but he's a big fan of George's. Uh, Love Star Trek, big Star Trek guy. And Jonah is coming in right now for your gay bachelor What's party. What's his sports show, Talking Yankees? Is that the one? Talking Yankees. Uh, Jonah has a, a Oh, public... my God. There's Jonah right there. <laughs> He's wearing a... Jonah, I know you're not a huge fan of our show, but you're a fan of George Takei. Is that correct? Oh, who isn't? Uh, well, thank you very much. Don't call me tiny. <laughs> uh, Jonah, that's a line from uh, Star Justin. Trek 3. What do you wear in there, uh, Jonah? Uh, well, I couldn't find the appropriate bike shirt, so I'm just wearing a bathing suit with a uh, with uh, underwear underneath because um, I have to do that or else it's just going to flop out. <laughs> uh -huh. You are uh, you've been on the show before. You have 14 inches, is that right? Uh, yeah, roughly nine when soft, it's eight to nine. So When's the last time? I know you're not gay. But you you uh, you're not gay. Uh, well, that does uh, no. I'm what's it called? I'm listed as being bi. Are you bi? You're bi. Good yeah, you. but um, Where is he I don't. I didn't know. You know I, I've never <laughs> taken it. You know, so. You've you've right. got a so. banquet table in front of you. Right? When is the last time you enjoyed uh, sex with man or woman with that 14 inches? Uh, this past weekend. <laughs> oh no, kidding! With a guy or a girl? Girl. A girl. Yeah. No kidding. And when yeah, but with someone I've known for a long time. So. So when you whip out the 14 incher, the girls have got to go wild, right? Not always. Yeah, I wonder how they take it. You know, I think the fact that, what's it called, the fact that I, what's it called, since I was 28, I've been, what's it called, just advertising all over the places because I figure I'd rather have the rejection before rather than after, like, before it's too late. <laughs> right. So you Have you been rejected? People seen it and oh, left. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, what's it called? Say, no. They just, no. No way. <laughs> no. All right, George, here is your treat. Joan, if you don't mind, would you show George your 14 incher? Well, it's soft right now, so. Well, it's still 14. Well, so how well, how big is it, it soft? Thank God. How big is it soft? Uh, oh, my good. goodness. It's, uh, oh. oh, my. Lord. Eight and a half soft. I think I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Are you stretching it out a little bit? No, no, no. It's just, uh, it's just the nervous habit twirled around like that, like the tongue. Oh, when there's you, when enough you... there, I must say. <laughs> Did you see it? Without, without <laughs> using a ruler, I go from the middle of my palm to the crook of my elbow. Really? And the oh, are we going to see it or is that thick. it? No, I, I, you know, I can't get it hard on command. Hey, can I, Jonah, you don't have to have it hard. Jonah, if you could just for George, the simplest thing is uh, if you could just, I, I, I don't want to explain you, but you could just drop your pants so George could see it that way. George needs to see uh, him in the bachelor I, party. You know what? And do you get pleasure throughout the whole 14 inches or is it <laughs> No, actually it's more, it's more the, it's more of the head. More of the head. Uh, um, think, Jonah, yeah. w w when you were a little boy, yeah. Was it evident that you had a big penis, or did when it... I was ten, I was eight inches. I was measured at ten, eight inches. Who measured you? Um, you know, a group of older uh, boys. I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. You know, right, is right. this natural, or is natural, it because natural, you? Natural. I, I've seen guys who vacuum pump. I've seen guys have surgery. No, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Mother Nature blessed you. Yeah, basically. Right. Did you get to see it at all, George? I did. I oh, did, you did see it. it. Yeah, but George, I didn't want to cop a feel it. If you want to hire fourteen oh, inches, you want to touch it, you can. He says. You can cop a I can't touch it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh really? <laughs> oh, because you know, um, Brad did not want to listen. Because He's not good. listening. Now you could have fun at your bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, there's, no, there's no record of this, George. No, there's no record. I mean, I touch cells, and he's tiny compared to what I just got. Do you want to go at. touch it? You do? Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead over and touch it. Go ahead. I want to be touched by George Decay. All right. George is going to touch it. Actually, uh, George, I was actually present at the 2006 Gay Games. Oh, were you? Yes. Um, at yeah, I saw your, yeah, I saw your, I saw your speech during the opening ceremonies. I oh, believe it was. Yeah. What get, what get, hold on, let me get a word. So you were at the gig games. Oh yeah, I was invited. Uh, oh, trust my. me, I have, I have 
plenty of gay friends. <laughs> well, I should think so. All right. Well, uh, George, it's well, very nice. Now, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, you guys want to take this yeah. in a back room? I, I, I thought you were going <laughs> to... Oh, you, you just want me to feel like this. I want to feel it. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. How does it feel? <laughs> well, it's, it's all scrunched I, up. Yes, it's scrunched up. It's not it fourteen up, inches, but there's it's not enough what substance. What the fuck are there. we doing? Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't know what we're doing, Artie. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God! <laughs> George, it's like you're milking a cow. <laughs> it's it's uh, uh, like half of it is still inside. You want, yeah. you want some help? Are you? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's the, this is the George, worst day in the history George, of the show. George, I see you were tugging on it, but, but oh my, you really are. <laughs> okay, with the uh, endowed. <laughs> Trust me, I ain't oh, seen nothing with, yet. You know, with this protrusion right here, it's kind of uh, <laughs> intrusive. Isn't Why don't it? you guys make out? Seriously. Well, no. we're, we've got uh, Will okay. holding this uh, you know what? black thing. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather kiss George than a lot of women. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh this is some bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> you had garlic for breakfast this morning. <laughs> did no, you? I didn't. No, <laughs> what did I, what I, I actually taste? had Listerine. Listerine? It didn't taste like oh, it. Garlic no, Listerine? I taste, I'm sorry. I taste I'm it. Can you do that? I used to, from age 10 to 18. What could you do? You used to suck yourself. Yeah, I can't That's how you got it so long. It's possible. Listen, I'm leaving. <laughs> you like him, George, huh? He's now, look, you know, actually, I have I, some friends who are, what's it called, part of the Star Trek family, and they said that George was the nicest guy in the world, so. George, you really like Jonah. What? You really <laughs> like Jonah. I don't even know he's here. Well, you know, I could get him to uh, working out a little bit and. Doing some work on the abs actually, here. Have, have you? Yeah, actually. Yeah, well, your pecs are. Thank you. Church, church, right. What happened to Brad? <laughs> you know, are Brad? you going to break up with Brad? I mean, <laughs> actually, um, you had to remind me. I yes, you're, you're, you're bringing me back Jonah, to reality. Was that a thrill for you to have George Takei manipulate your penis like that? And make out with you. He wouldn't be the first celebrity. <laughs> really? Is well, that the true? first male celebrity, but, you know, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Jonah, is on your list? Jonah, was that exciting for you? I mean, that is George Takei, and you're a Star Trek fan. You know, um, actually, uh, I what's it called? I'm more of a TNG fan than, a, than an old series fan. But, you know. Um, a TNG means the next generation. The next generation. Yes. I also I like DS9, not as, uh, what's it called? I like Voyager. I hated Enterprise. Uh, so. Everybody hated George, Enterprise. how did it feel when you were rubbing uh, Jonah's 14 inches. Well, you know, a little variety occasionally is right. wonderful, and <laughs> he is spicy variety. I Would you say. be able to handle no, 14 ever. inches, George? <laughs> well, well <laughs> way to find out. No. Yes. <laughs> well, this is certainly an exciting you know, bachelor party. It uh, certainly is. Yes. Well, it's the weirdest um, one I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> and Trust this is what me, happens. Take George and Dan, Why is it so weird? Parties. Parties. The, groom, uh, the, the, the groom usually does some crazy shit that can ruin the wedding at a bachelor <laughs> yeah, party. Yeah, I think that might be. Yeah. Yeah, you see, Brad said Hanksville? he wasn't going to be listening. Good, thank God. There's rarely 18 cameras and microphones around. <laughs> you had to remind me. Yes, that is true. But you know, I didn't think Jonah would be your type. I thought you were into the muscular. But I know. am. But you, there is muscle <sighs> underneath that. There is. There is. Yeah, I mean, layer of flesh. Blue shirt doesn't muscle. really, you know. He's got a big cock. Jonah. You got a. Is the big cock such a turn on George that uh, you had to just sort of manhandle this boy? I didn't manhandle him. No, but no. Trust know. me, if he manhandled me, I would have known. <laughs> and trust me, I would have uh, been able to show you what I was really like when I was hard. Anyways, um, now do you have a so business you have, card? You've been with me. <laughs> I'm in the book, babe. <laughs> Yeah, actually, seriously. Um, well, I wanna... you are the talent at the bachelor party. You were the big surprise, right? And you did not disappoint. You right. did not disappoint. Actually, at um, all. I, I, what's called, I wanted to also take a serious moment. Um, I wanted. To, <laughs> no, trust me. Trust Spelled me. Trust S I R. Yeah. Stop being funny for a second. serious. Oh, yeah, all right. Go ahead. Um, you know, George. Uh, you know, a lot of my friends are very proud of you. Uh, after decades of what's it called, you're actually going to get married in uh, California. Now, I actually wanted to sing a song, but I don't know if I. Could stand the cat calls as I sung it for you. Please, Please. be a bachelor. No, no, go ahead. No, we're not going. It's, it's, a, gay, it's a gay bachelor party. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, and uh, this is actually slightly gay. It's not as gay as the other song from this movie, but um, this is for you and Brad. Um, <clears throat> and I hate doing this acapella. This looks familiar, vaguely familiar, almost unreal yet. <laughs> 
It's too soon to feel yet close to my soul and yet so far away. I'm going to go back there someday. Bravo, bravo. That's Artie, good. wait a second. Wait, wait, Artie's no, no, vomiting. No, Artie, you are not you anymore. Artie, wait a second. Let me continue, okay? Artie, yeah. Artie are you. I know it's. it's Artie's crying. Artie's crying. Artie. <laughs> There's variety in this room. Oh. I've never. I was trying to. I was trying to. You know, trying to create a moment. Nothing like, is real. Go ahead. Been go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jonah, don't worry because he's, he's told me things about his past. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Jonah. Yeah, there's, there's. What's it called? It's a very short song. Yeah. Right? Sun rises, night falls. Sometimes the sky calls. <laughs> is that a song there? And do I belong there? <laughs> I've never been there. Take out your cock. But I know <laughs> the way. You're breaking the mood. I'm going to go back there someday. <laughs> Come and go with me. It's more fun to share. You look like the guy who shot we'll John both be completely <laughs> at home in midair. We're flying, not walking, on featherless wings. That we nice. can hold on to love with invisible strings. Well, that is very... Not... <laughs> oh, sorry. Every Muppet fan wants to kill you right now. Oh, <laughs> there is not a word yet for old friends who've just met. Wish your dad was here already. Heart heaven, <laughs> heart space. No, you don't. But have I found my place? You can just visit. Take out your cock. But I plan to stay. I'm going to go back there someday. And the fucked up part is that while you're all hooting, this is the best time. This is the best time ever sung that song. Wow. Beautiful. 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 What is that from a Muppet movie? Yeah, that's uh, that's Gonzo in the in the middle of the uh, in the middle of a desert. Oh. Well, Johnny, you've uh, really added something to the bachelor party. Your 14 inches and your singing uh, has I really. I can't believe he's and, a Yankee fan. Yeah. you know, and also <laughs> he's a Yankee fan. By the way, Jonas completely no longer a Yankee and open this. You know, bravo to you. Thank you. You know, and you guys who are having a great time here. You know, this is part of the diversity of life. Look, you know, we're enjoying yes, it! Yes, yes. And, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, this Jonas exposes very diverse. you to the other part of the world that had been hidden. Believe me, we've been exposed to enough. I know you guys have. <laughs> well, let me tell Jonah, you something. Are you, Jonah, do you prefer uh, a man or a woman? Do you, is it equal? Uh, you know, it's better for my career if I remain sexually ambiguous. Uh, <laughs> good for you. What good career? For you. Yeah, what career is that, by the way? Um, I'm an actor. I'm, I'm a union actor. So. Ah, it's Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, SAG. Uh, um, I refuse to go to after because uh, until they actually merge. You have know? you appeared in anything that we might have? Seen? Oh yeah, a bunch of stuff. Um, most, you know, it's funny. Everybody has been seeing me in Just My Luck, and I just had a tiny little part in that. Really? All right. Yeah, well. I was the groom's, uh, the groom's uh, best man. It's like. Okay, right, well, very good, Jonah. Jonah Falcon, his 14-inch oh, penis. Congratulate him, George. Much. Jonah, thank you for coming in. I greatly appreciate you it. You made You're George's was, day, um, I think. Yeah, I, I, know, mean, I know Jonah gets his balls busted on his public affairs show, but he's a nice guy. I like there's him. more than 14 inches of pleasure. I mean, in meeting him. <laughs> you like him. The person that goes with the 14 inches, that's what really makes a difference. Really? You like him. You like him. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's very open. He's You're taking honest. Him. He's truthful, and he's charming. Well, what that's happened great. When you were squeezing his wiener, did it get hard at no, all? No. It no. did not. No, it didn't. You know, it's pretty difficult. I mean, you have a, a million people listening you. know, to he it, probably has to lie down to get hard. That, well, all you, the blood rushes there. With all this, you know, the, the laughter and the hilarity and the, the mechanism here, it's it's yeah. pretty difficult. But how, well, George, your gay bachelor party is going so well. I gotta thank you. You're welcome. I mean, already, it has been fantastic but for me Brit personally. Would you, like to, would you like to judge a pretty penis contest? Someone will get $500 right now. I would love all right. But is Brad going to be angry with it? You know, he said he didn't want to listen to it. Right, and, but, but, and, but, but, and I, I mean, take him at his word. If he hears anything from it, right. is he going to be upset? Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm afraid he's he is going to be here be hearing something. 
So um, I've made reservations at the uh, Boathouse restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a nice night out for Brad. Okay. Oh, you are in love with Brad. I know. That. I love him. I love him. <laughs> you love Brad. You know, but yeah, a little spice is nice. A little fun. A little, uh, We're just having fun. That's yeah, all. Yeah, you'll, you're still going to go Gar- home to Brad. And I think he had garlic for breakfast. Yes, yes. Yeah, I he moved he, in to kiss you. Was he putting his tongue down your throat? Of course. You tasted everything. Oh, no, you may, yeah, I, got, I had the angle. There was, there was a French uh, kiss. Wow. <laughs> Boy, you were quite taken with that. There was on. garlic there, too. Right. It was tasty. I, I love garlic. Oh, God. I like chili. I like, you know, I, I like all the spices. I can't believe you made out with the best man from just my luck. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppets. The I Muppets. Might, I almost threw up. <laughs> Did you mean it? Yeah, we tried I to can't take believe that, that one. Of you. That was a tough one. Uh, I mean, you, you know, you're so open and broad-minded. Well, no, I'm just very loyal to Brad. I was worried. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Artie, On Brad's Artie behalf, was, I appreciate that. As a, a Stern fan, as a you know, a guy who might have been out there in a car listening, was this a bad day for you? Was this the, the worst day in Stern history? I think uh, Imus has more listeners. <laughs> you know, By this way, has been an educational morning for Artie, I think. Coming up next, shot. Uh, Georgia is going to spend 10 minutes alone with a naked Artie in a closet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that guy hosts a Yankee sports show, huh? Yeah. Yes. It's not a Mets Yankee show. Sports show. It's Yankee show. Well, now, George looks like a Yankee over there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, hey, that kid with the 14-inch cock. Hey, Richard, what is the best phony phone call you ever made to his public access show? Tell me which one I'll play. Oh, Just Richard's calling. The one about the weather. Just say something with the weather. It's the top left-hand corner. Top left-hand corner. On what page? On the Jonah Falcon page. Okay. Sorry. Top it's left-hand corner. Page. Yeah. His last name's Falcon, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Jonah like Falcon. Yeah, here you go. Good marquee name. You're on the air. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this heat that's been going on lately? The what? It's been pretty hot out there. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we were supposed to get a thunderstorm over the weekend. We didn't get it. Yeah. I don't know where it's supposed to cool off. You know, I don't know either. <laughs> anyway, thanks for calling. <laughs> I'm having a ton of technical troubles today. Huh, that's odd. Uh, uh, no, that's feedback. Uh. God, no, that's not going to work either. Oh, well, <laughs> crying out loud. Well, okay, we have a kind. Uh, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going? Okay, uh, what do you want to talk about now? Hard enough out there, Frodo. When's it going to cool down? Uh, you know, we're, this is not the weather channel. Uh, let's see if I get some real calls. You're on the air. Hey, how are you, man? I'm fine. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, man. Good show. I'll never forget the first time I was at my uh, a Yankee game. Yeah. It was a long time ago. I went with my father, and uh, I sucked his cock, and it was fantastic. It was really great. I'm pretty sure you loved it. I, I'm pretty sure he, you really loved it. I mean, you must have slurped it up all the... You know what? I think we just had a bun cake call. Uh, certain people will get that reference. I, I don't know what's going on with the... Uh, there it goes. You're on the air. <laughs> Drop your pants, sailor. Up. You know, why would you... Uh, that has to be the stupidest... Uh, you're on the air. We're only going to get some rain. It's cold. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I really hate this, um, this, uh, what's it called? I wish the speakerphone was working. You're on the air. Yeah, have you ever had a whipple ball batch shoved up your ass? No. Uh, I don't like uh, listening to other people's fantasies anyway. You're on the air. Yeah, I got a question about Baltimore. Yeah, go ahead. You think they're going to get rain down there anytime soon? I mean... <laughs> You know, and I wonder if this person knows that he really sounds stupid. It's not me. I don't think so. Uh, let's get a call. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, the great thing about ball is shoving them up your ass while licking your man's asshole. I, you know, I really don't, wouldn't know this. You're on the air. You're a damn humor, then. Uh, I'm tired of, uh, this isn't the weather channel. That's on channel 56. You're on the air. What about that barometric pressure, man? It's pretty high this morning. Uh, shut up. Let's see what they have to call. You're on the air. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? 
Man, you're a fucking nerdy cracker. What the fuck? You know, there's nothing sadder than a white guy pretending to be black and call someone else a cracker. You're on the air. Hey, cracker, I'm a binge. He's not, oh, brother. I have no idea what some of these people are talking about. Ugh. You're on the air. You fucking pussy. I'm going to lick your palm and sniff your asshole. Some people have weird fantasies. <laughs> you know what? If there's anybody there with time in their hands who wants to be a call screener, I can't pay you, but I don't know. Maybe you can be on the air a couple of times. You're on the air. Yeah, I am a Red Sox fan. Okay, cool, cool. What's up? I was wondering, uh, how's that heat down there? You know, it's been pretty cool. Uh, Stop! It's not working! It ain't working! It's driving me nuts. Exactly. <laughs> then it is working. <laughs> oh, oh, man. What the fuck is with that kid? Well, I learned I was so engaged. That's Jonah, huh? Yeah, that's Jonah, your your boyfriend. <laughs> I got to tell you, I learned I was not gay yesterday. I, I went from my yearly physical to my doctor, Dr. Yeah. Uh, Bob Baker. And uh, he, you know, I said, is, I forget. I said, is this the exam where you stick your finger up my ass? And he goes, yeah. Yeah. He must get excited every year. Well, no, he goes, he goes, oh, come on. He goes, you're insulting me. You know I have a nice touch. (laughs) So I said, all right. So, you know, he turns me over on my side like a baby, and then he tells me to pull down my underpants, and he shoves, he puts the KY on his finger, and he, and he wears a glove, by the way. And he shoves his finger up my asshole, and then he twists. He goes, okay, now get ready for the twist. I don't remember the twist, but I guess it's a twist, so Uh they can tell how big your prostate is. I, like, nearly went through the roof. I don't know how any gay man can take a cock at his ass. I couldn't even take this finger, and it hurt. I mean, I just just hate it. Well, I, he didn't give you time. You have to have plenty of lubricants and he uh, had a lube. gentle entry. Wow. this was I mean, he was as gentle as he could be, but... No, he, he did it and got it over with. Yeah. And I took a big dump before I went there because I knew he'd be in there, and I still think there was some brown. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I know. That's terrible. My own. Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> but I'm healthy. They said I had the uh, blood pressure of a teenager. What is your blood pressure? I don't even know. <laughs> it's super low. But you got to tell me what it is. Oh, I, I think know. you would have passed the swimming. You, you look like you're in, uh, in outstanding uh, condition. Thank you. Lean and your complexion. Uh oh. You know, Uh-oh. George Girl. is all sexed up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Calm down. <laughs> Their eyes are clear. You know, it's sort of like Artie's right now. <laughs> what is it, Ralph? I, I don't know. You tell me. I, I just woke up and you were asking some guy to whip his cock out. <laughs> yeah, we're having a gay bachelor party. Yeah, it's the What's right channel. It's there? the right Not channel. Not asking, begging. Isn't that great? Great to wake up in the morning like that. Oh. Well, it's George's, you know, wedding is coming up, and he he has no friends. Well, obviously, not to throw a bachelor party. <laughs> I don't know, people are freaking out. I was talking to Brandano, and he he like was like couldn't even talk. Yeah, well, you have to see it. It's, What's going on? It's just unbelievable. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Oh my! Now this well, is an educational yeah. show. All right, you're so educating half the world. George, it's time for your pretty penis contest. Oh no! Oh great! Right. <laughs> <laughs> we have six gentlemen. Each one wants to win five hundred dollars. Only one can win. Now, where does the judge uh, position himself? Has George blown anybody yet? Uh, oh, no, no, he I won't was, do that. He was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here are a bunch of guys walking in. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my. Where did these guys oh, come from? Oh, 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 no. What's the matter? Well, let me t- <laughs> Our first gentleman is here. Hold on, sir. Uh, oh, get- this guy. Oh, <laughs> who is this? How old are you, sir? Jesus. What, one second. I'm, I don't, I'm having a hard time here. What, I'm sorry, how old? 78. 78, you're in good shape. <laughs> and you're totally nude, aren't you? <laughs> yes. How did are, you get that way? Are, are you a straight male or a gay male? I, I'm, I would say I'm... Tw- Straight. I, I, I am straight. You are but you've straight. been with men. Have you ever been? With, have you ever been with a man? N- no. Oh. No. You have not. Okay. No. Now I notice you're totally shaved. Is that correct? No, I'm not. I'm you just. just lost I'm just not. Hair? I'm just not hairy. You're not hairy. All right. Well, you never pe- have been. Well, your penis uh, is out, and uh, George, you are the judge. You are posing. Is that what you're doing? Exactly. The reason I struck this pose is that my penis should have a background 
you know, to be outlined. Right. Well, you know, it should be visible, and the um, the uh, screen's getting in the way. Can how, you how's, ja- how's Java? That was my dog, yeah. Uh, Java. Yeah, how is she? She's fine. Great, she's great, great, great. Thank you. I love Why Bianca. What? Holding in his hand. Bianca, it's a dog. It's a it's a dog. Listen, uh, how is stuffed yeah. animal? <laughs> all right, all right. This is George. George Liker. And let's go to George Takei and Robin, who are our judges. Well, I can't really see anything, and I'm thankful. <laughs> uh, he, he's an older gentleman, but what about his penis, uh, George? Do you like this one, or do you want to? It's a well-balanced uh, penis. It uh, lacks a little volume. You think so? He looks pretty big. Uh, well, it's... I no. think he's talking about the circumference. I yeah. see. It's oh. skinny. Oh, it's skinny. All yes. right, but okay, let's see but how you match up against the other people. It's a fine penis. All right, yes. so, so should I get off the screen? Or whatever? No, George, just back up. A little, let the next gentleman go. This is Maury. And, and come over here uh, this way more so I can see you. You're hidden All right. by That's, the. Uh, uh, is this, uh, who is this now, Maury? Okay, Maury. Uh, Maury, hi. How's it going, Howard? All right. Now, are you. Where did we get can, this? Can you election? move to your right? <laughs> a little bit more to your right. Yeah. yeah. Maury, uh, you want to be the prettiest penis, I guess. That's a great title. Are you a gay man or a straight man? Uh, straight man, Howard. You're a straight man. You have an unusual voice. Anyone Scotty ever... Farrell, shake it up live. Howard 100, Howard 101, shake it up. You sound a lot like our own <laughs> Scotty Farrell. How this is you... my real voice. Oh, this is your real voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, now, you know, we have $500 to award to the prettiest his penis for George's bachelor party. All right, show George your goods, Maury, so that he can judge your penis. Why does Maury think he has a beautiful penis? Has somebody told him? I don't. <laughs> you don't think you do, but you're giving it a shot. What are you doing there? You're adjusting it? Chopping up. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, giving go ahead. It a little, um, That's fair. <laughs> Not all day, Blood Maury. Blood circulation. Go ahead, let's see. There oh, it is. My oh, my God. How oh, that, cute. That's a nubbin. Thanks, yes. George. <laughs> yes. That's a tiny it's, one, isn't it? Uh, no, it's a grower, not a shower. Did you uh, shave down for this contest? Is that what it looks like? No, sir. No, you did not. Doing... All right. That's no. natural. All right. Do you yes. have that one uh, in your Do you have that one in your mind right now? I have it in my mind. All right, George. Yes, okay. Certainly. Thank you, and Maury. He doesn't want to nice. spend any more time on that. that one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. Uh, in your, Mike, uh, you uh, you look like a very big, beefy dude. Yeah. You look like a muscular guy. Yeah. I, yeah. I and what is your orientation then? Uh, straight. Straight. Yes. Are you are you a uh, bodybuilder of sorts? No, uh, I just always worked out through college, and then now I just sort of maintain it with push ups and pull ups. I kind of do. Do girls tell you you have a pretty penis? My wife tells me I have a pretty uh-huh. penis. Is that right? Mm, yes. All right. All right. So you've, well, you've got told. good pecs too. Oh, well, thank you. I All appreciate right. that. Well, well, Mike, show George your penis. Let's see if you can't win the five hundred dollars. Here we go, um, Mike. This is the gay bachelor party. We don't normally do something like this, but for George Decay, we do it. We love George. I think right. this is a Diverse show. <laughs> All right. Wear the same underwear I do. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh yes. that looks like a there it is. anatomical drawing. What do you that think, is... Artie? You think we got a winner there? I'm texting someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There That's it is. There it is. And it's well balanced. It's so okay. You're hooked. Sorry yeah. from there. Artie's writing a <laughs> resume. <laughs> He's getting the heck out of here. All right. Let's meet this next gentleman who is who's sucking, sucking his, his thumb. thumb. Who is oh. this? This is uh, Gogo Boy. Hi, Gogo no, Boy. Now move to your, uh, to your right so I can see you. Uh, Gogo Boy. Okay, mm-hmm. hi. Hello. I'm sorry, I didn't have your microphone no on. Apology. Gogo Boy, you're a gay man. Uh, no, trisexual. Trisexual. Try anything. <laughs> <laughs> you do it with anyone you get your hands on. <laughs> and your shirt says Toilet, toilet Boys. boys. Yes. What is Toilet um, Boys? Toilet Boys is my friend's band. Okay. Yes. Are they a gay band? Um. <laughs> yeah, they'll try anything also, absolutely. All right. And you've, you've been told you have a pretty penis? Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you for contributing, all of you, because this is George's big, you know, bachelor party, and this is fun for him. All right, <laughs> pull down your pants, and let's take a look at your penis there. Uh, go, go, boy. <laughs> wow, there you go. What do you think of that? beauty mark on it, George. Well, you like that one, George? Oh, it's, it's lovely. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, yes. Keep talking. It could... Uh, yeah, it could uh, use a little bit of workout. Though. Mm. What does that mean? A little and more exercise. You know, um, Hunk there um, kind of exercised just before he took his pants off. A little of this? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little separation right. for George. Go, go, boy. Uh, congratulations. Let's Thank see you. if you can't win the $500. You, All right, we have another gentleman here. Looks like a tattoo muscular man. What is uh, your name? Mike. Mike. More Hi, to Mike. the right. More to the right. Oh, more to I the can't right. see you. All right, Mike. Mike, missing a few teeth. What happened there? Uh, I've been a skateboarder my whole life, so... Uh, and you can knock uh, out your teeth yeah, doing that? It's yep. a dangerous sport because you do a lot of these jumps and such? All kinds of stuff like that. Well, I, I was one of the replaced. original...
original he's... jackasses, too. So uh, Right. You've done some wild stuff. Yeah, pretty much. All right. And he you... can't get his teeth replaced? Uh, yeah. I'm working on my body right now. I just had knee surgery two days ago. Uh, oh. Think, you know. All right. And you've got a lot of tattoos, too. Yes, I can, do. Can you take all your clothes off uh, so we can see well, you uh, have all day, in George. proportion to uh, <clears throat> your penis? You like him, huh? Well, he looks interesting, uh, and he's got tattoos, which... Uh, oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Well, Maybe you want him to put his shirt back on. <laughs> Mike, sh show him your pe your penis so he can... All drive. right, all right go ahead. There it is. Okay, there we go. Well, what do you think of that? It's all shaved down, isn't it, Mike? It's shaved down. for you, George. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, You're we welcome. can have a clear shot at it. Do you it. like that one, George? That's uh, nice, and turning uh, you shaving on. shaving is nice. Yeah, too. I got a little bit of shrinkage going on now, anxiety, well, you know, you. but... Uh, I wish I was that big. Yeah, yeah all right. I um, got a fresh tattoo on my back. Look how nice that is. That is. Oh, and you, a fresh one. You've got nice buns, too. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Thank you, George. You look good. Let's is get that an final... eagle, Philadelphia Eagles uh, logo? Yeah, go ahead. Give me a shit. <laughs> no, I'm not giving me a shit. Our final gentleman, uh, what brings you here today? Uh, Ron, you want the title, huh? I have the prettiest penis, and you're going to see it. Uh, how do you know you have the prettiest penis? Um, well, I think it's the only one that's going to look like a Renaissance painting. You have a beautiful penis. Who has told you you have a beautiful penis? Are you into girls or men? My wife loves my penis. And she says you have a great looking penis. Uh, yeah. All right. Let Bloody George see penis. it. This will be, this will be great for him and he loves it. All right. This is a gay bachelor. Wow. What is going on in that thing? Well, There's some, something attached to you. Yes. Place. What is that? This what here is? is a foreskin restoration tugger. No. Oh, foreskin no. Foreskin restoration. Oh, you're you, one of those guys who was circumcised and you're trying to get your foreskin. I right. was circumcised at birth, certainly not by choice. Right. And so uh, for four years, I, I wore a device similar to this one. Awesome. Uh, sometimes you wear it <laughs> strapped to your knee to pull right. down. At night, you wear it strapped up over your shoulder to pull up and it just basically applies uh, constant gentle tension. Are you getting your foreskin back? Uh, let's have a look. All right. Oh, that comes that comes off, does it? Oh, well, there it is. It actually it does is. work, yeah. doesn't it? And has that been helping the penis itself? Uh, I tell you what, foreskin feels really good. Um, until you've experienced it slinking around, I, it's just impossible to even describe. Um, it's like you can picture the skin tube, and as it rolls over on itself, it's making like a 180 turn. It was that important to you to get your oh, foreskin back? It feels back. so good. Yeah, and, and the glands and the skin just below the glands is now covered and protected all the time. So it's reverted to being more moist and supple, and I just can't even tell you how much better sex is. Well, Robin, there you go. Here is a man a who has for restored you. his penis to its natural state. And it's the process is a good feeling all the time, is it? Uh, I tell you what, yeah, having something attached to your penis, just it does kind of give you an awareness of your penis all day. And so... How long did I it take so. before your foreskin came back? You can grow about an inch of new skin a year, and uh -huh. I needed four inches, so it took me four years. Four years you've been doing this. Well, congratulations to you. What and good for you. Yes, I'm glad Helping to see you. Mother Nature. You're taking your time and uh, putting it into something useful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for George to say who gets the $500. Uh, well, uh, do we Gogo get a Boy final is, look? Gogo -Go Boy is nervous, and he is sucking his thumb. Just You, you know your answer, down? George. Come on, yes. George. We should have another look. George, yes, please. So I can barely I've hold lost, on. I've lost. Uh, you think you lost? Yes. Why? You thought there was somebody else Why? who had a prettier penis? Yes. Oh, you, you, you just, think? Well, no, I, since, no, I think that George likes the others better than mine, so I've what lost. What makes you think that? I've taken a very pessimistic attitude toward my um, <laughs> lack of You success. should be proud of your penis. I'm you have a very good-looking penis. penis. I'm proud of the rest of my body, not my penis. I'm proud of my mind. Your, Howard, your penis what, what, what is your IQ, Howard? Say uh, it with me. 185. So, one tw <laughs> lie. Mine is 128. All right, well, I'm 185. The truth. The real truth? Yeah. I think I'm almost retarded. <laughs> <laughs> When you record, you, you took the Sanford Binet test, right? I don't know. Took, you know. He doesn't right. even know that. And you don't know what your, I don't even, your I, IQ really is, right? Trust me, it's low. I think I actually think it's like around uh, 93. It's almost retarded. Howard, I'm not sure if I said this or not earlier, but I have a scenario concerning you and Beth, which nobody has referenced, and I think it's a brilliant idea. I would like to at some point, either now well, or during the uh, commercial break, to present it to you. Well, I know it'll never happen during the commercial break. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be whisked out of here so fast. Oh, so no then idea. let me allow me to do it now? All right. Quickly, Thank you very uh, much. 30 seconds. Another, another aspect is you will marry Beth. Yes. And as Robin predicted twice that it will last, I don't think it will. Also, uh, yesterday, what's his name? Martin, uh, Riley Martin thought he gave it two years. 
you will then divorce her and then get back to the kind of situation you have now. Aha. Well, that is an interesting thing. Let's hope you're wrong. But, uh, you know, I would like my marriage to last. You know that. You want to love you, but you want to love Beth the rest of your life more than you want a marriage. What? I'm not sure what you mean. Your your IQ is too high. You lost me. You're you're talking (laughs) above our heads. Oh, you're saying I'll live with Beth again. Yes. Oh, I'll I'll get divorced and and we'll live live together. Yes. All right, listen, I'm going to take you and your 128 IQ and throw you right out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, Lydia, George, oh, and- Lydia, that encyclopedia. Oh, Lydia, <laughs> the tattooed lady. Well, let's find out if you won the contest. <laughs> All right, George. Well, I'm John I'm doing doing you day. Quickly. Go ahead. Who is the winner, wait, George? Wait, 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 don't, wait. Don't, don't drag this out. Before George votes, does he want to see me retracted at all? Oh, uh, oh no, I prefer the foreskin there. All right, good. I thought I might have an edge wearing this t- uh, toga or whatever this thing is called, which well, I use right. for myself. Right. How old are you again? 78. All right. June 3rd, 1930. You're in good shape. Why didn't you respond? I sent you a book a book on chess for your birthday. Thank you. What, did you get it? <laughs> yes. Did you get that little drawing I did of you on a, th- a three by three drawing in pencil Absolutely. for memory? Absolutely. Right. Yes, the the police like have it? all those things. Yeah, everything's been submitted to Did you to get the proposal I sent to you several years ago uh, about yes. playing Cyrano de Bergerac with Mary McCormick? Did you get that? No, that one I didn't get. What an incredible letter that was. Why? I don't Why know. Why didn't you get... That's who, judge. Who, who, you're hijacking. You're hijacking my well, show. This is a contest. This is a contest. It's not fair to the other contestants. <laughs> you're after, I'm, I, I apologize. All right. All right. To that's everyone. Fair. Apology accepted. Wait till the commercial for the Cyrano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It's time, George. George, go ahead. You're and You're looking make at all selection. these penises. All right, let's see them all again. All right, here you go. Let's see them all. That includes go. Will and Richie Wilson. No. <laughs> there they all are. You know, they, Maury well, has backed out. Oh, yeah, why are you backing out? Uh, it, play it on the replay. Play it on the replay. Now, one, he, one, one, one shot. You had a cute one, too. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> go, go, boy. sucking his thumb. He's nervous. Go ahead. I got to say, they're all beautiful. Give us the I answer. Mean, I would uh, leap at any one of them. <laughs> However, I know that I have to make a decision. And, you know, they're, because they're all individually unique and wonderful and, and it's on its own. I'm going to take it in the entire physical context. Aha! Uh-huh. And oh, no. I got to go with Mr. Sunglasses. <laughs> Thanks, that George. Thank you very much. Well, there you and go, you guys. Was it the body. mole? And, you know, you take care of your body. You look great. What is your name again, sir? It's Michael Christian. Actually, um, I wanted to come in and just talk. um, We're doing a fundraiser for uh, organ donor awareness. Well, Um, isn't that nice? Thank you for doing it. Have the prettiest penis. (laughs) (laughs) You're the man with a $500 gift. There you go. Look at him. There he is. (laughs) Mr. Mr. Pretty Uh, Penis. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you very much. I'm going to call you Mr. Hung. Boys, thank you very much. Is there any way I could give George a lap dance? You know what? Not tonight. I I think I've reached my limit. Could he ride me like a pony? I don't think I can do something. You don't want that. Uh, Go, go, boy. Thank you. Everyone, thank you for participating. And uh, enjoy the $500. Thanks, man. uh, Thank you. Thanks, guys. May you all live long and prosper. You too, George. I have have a a foreskin cone I'd like to present George so that Brad can wear it and have the best sex of his life on their wedding night. Listen to me. Oh, that's Mm -hmm. fantastic. You're scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> no, I'll take it. I'll take, I got right, it. We're gonna we're gonna grab that from you in a minute. Uh, but uh, thank you. All right, guys, thanks. Yes, anything else there? Yeah, go ahead, Maury. You really gotta start screening these fucking people. I mean, Jesus Christ, being in the fucking green room with these guys is insanity. Oh my God, get me the fuck out of here. Thanks for making George, Thank you. Thank you for making George's bachelor party a success. All yes. of you. Thank you. All my guys here. Yes. Wonderful. Wow. <laughs> it wasn't singular. They were what all a great. gay bachelor party it is. What a gay, gay bachelor party. It is a happy, happy day. Oh, you were, you didn't want this at the beginning of the no, week. No, uh, well, Brad was listening. Oh. <laughs> Gary, you okay? 
A lot of the guys have shook up from that. Yeah, I got to tell you, can I, can, I, can I make a suggestion? I think one thing is enough, but everything combined, it's well, too much gonna, for me. Say, you know, Arnie look, has bailed out of the show. I think I'm scratching. Guess what's in my ass and naked twister? I was just testing what I was going to say. Yeah, I can't take like it. Too much? We've done enough. Yeah, it's enough. Enough. It's no, enough gay no, bachelor no. party. The other thing that I noticed is, like, George is acting, I guess this is the first bachelor party you've ever been to, right? I, it is. Yeah. You I can mean, tell, gay he's a total party. rookie, Howard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's <laughs> Robin, you got to do me a favor and show right. us your tits. I got to get some. Uh, you got it. Now it's time. A gay now it's time. Party. Release well, Robin's bra. <laughs> Release Robin's bra. Attention, the hottest chick within the sound of my voice. Get there down here <laughs> immediately. Save poor Artie. Artie, did you not look at any? Get of him the back down to earth. Look, I mean, you know, you saw it. A bunch of dicks. Release <laughs> Robin's bra. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, release Robin's bra. <laughs> All right, George. Release Robin's bra so I can see her brown tatas. <laughs> what is that? It's a very catchy tune. Yeah. No, I, yeah, there was a bunch of uh, penises. And, uh, and you've got one, too. I do, yeah. <laughs> he sure does. I want a did uh, anybody here think circumcised could, cone. <laughs> did, they, did they think? Did anyone here think they could beat the guys who enter the cone? Not me. The only one is the only one is my beautiful friend. <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, a chunk of Vaseline on his penis. I don't think I've ever seen that whole penis restoration cone thing. I think if you got to go to that extreme. It's time to shoot yourself. <laughs> did it look real to you, Fred? You no, have a, it no, did not. He, no, he didn't look like an uncircumcised. No, no, you know what it looked like? It looked like that that sweater that Artie put on yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that his cone. arm out and how the sleeve was just kind of hanging. That's what it looked like to me. That what cone was a dis oh. advantage for it's him. A, you know, Will just came out. And Will's just like he goes, man. He goes, I didn't know today was going to be like this. He goes, like, really? He goes, I'm he done with cocks. I'm done with cocks. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't check the that. schedule. <laughs> I'm ending the officially ending the gay. I don't think you can do that. There are people who were. Here to participate that are going to be very upset. Richard was Look. really upset that he can't put anything in his yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Come on, we got to do hey. what's in my ass. No. Well, thank you, Howard, for really being you're, this you're generous. Welcome. We did the best we could, George. We, we, took his, we, we only lasted until 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> this concept. We're canceling all other oh, events. Except hysterical. for, of course, uh, only the, on the Howard Stern Show can one <laughs> have a morning like this. We tried to do the best we could, you know, and hang in there as long as we could. You did outstanding. Get, naked Twister and guess what's in my ass. I don't know. Uh, Although Naked Twister would have been funny watching George play with Richard. Yes, himself. you got to do that. Uh, we'll Maybe see. take a little break. Maybe we need a break. <laughs> George, would you have gotten naked for Naked Twister, George? What is Naked Twisters? Well, Sal and Richard were thinking they'd play, you know, the game Twister. Yeah. You, you know that game yeah. where you, you right, put you, your foot on one dot and then, you know, yes, then yes. They, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they said that they would get naked and play Twister with you. You, of course, oh. could be in your clothes unless you want to be nude with them. Uh, well, we're on radio. Right. Well, we're on, we're on camera too. We're on camera too, yes. Yeah. No, I think I'll, I'll reserve a little discretion. All right. Mm. Well, then, uh, keep your clothes on. <laughs> Why don't we cancel that? All right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Well, I need a, a break to recover Ooh. from the gay bachelor party. Is it getting to you? Have you really gotten? Yeah, I've had enough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm up for, listen, I'm up for being open minded and I'm, I'm happy to make George happy because he is, he deserves a bachelor party. Sure. We love him. Yeah, I've put up with all your poop right. parties. Right. <laughs> so, you know, it was fine, but it's enough already. <laughs> uh, even I have. I'm enough. shocked at you. Oh, well, it's hard to take a, a mass like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got to take take everything in healthy doses. Yes. Absolutely. Artie's you don't want to gorge yourself on it. Artie, and it's back Artie. to being the old Artie again. Artie's eating those, cupcakes. He's eating a big cupcake. Everybody wondered well, how he would do with the Cupcake Wednesday. You know, if gay guys want to continue being tolerated by assholes like me... <laughs> You can't show me gay stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, no, we respect your need for what you need. No, I know. I know. And we won't expose you to it. I, in fact, I'll take this uh, CD that I have under my light and put it over here where you can George, see it. George, <laughs> what is George it, is displaying the board. <laughs> No, Dominic is not on the phone. Oh, all right. Why? Because yeah, there's something weird that's been going on with him. You know, he'll, he'll call about Artie, and, you know, immediately he'll turn it uh, on himself and say, like, you know, I, you know, I've been in, I had something with a father, and he, somebody molested him. I wish he'd talk about it. 
<laughs> well, if he, if he was molested, I will ask him if he was. Because if you go back on those phone calls when he calls in about Artie, he just, like, you say something about Artie, and then, like, two seconds later, he talks about it. I've had problems, too, where it's like... Yeah, he said he was in therapy. Even when Donna's brother was here, he brought up a lot. Yeah, of right. yeah. It's, it's weird. All right. Thank you, Ralph. I hope he's all right. Well, he's, he's clearly not all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All right, look, we got to take a break. We're all going to calm down. We did something nice for George. It was fun, but that's it. Like I well, said, I maybe you'll it. take a break and rethink because there are a couple of other things on the schedule. Right. We'll see. Sal was over at the Friars Club yesterday roasting George. They had a roast of George Takei. Yeah. I got in today and I said, I was the roast last night, and George said, I got a good tanning last night. <laughs> <laughs> I saw George before, and he looked just dapper in a beautiful suit. And I was like, why did you dress up for this debacle? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming and dressing. I mean, I know you have this early morning call, and so I was really flattered that you oh, were there. Oh, you're quite right. And Sal even uh, roasted. Yeah. Me to boot. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear? Sal? You weren't there, Artie, were you? No. No. They no. they were very nice to offer it to me, but I, with all the shit that's going on and uh, you know work night and all, I I, I would love to have you. been there for. Uh, well, Jordan. Sal got to do it. So. Yeah, it was Tim not, was there. I heard and... Sal. Uh, they asked Sal particularly to to be like a celebrity roaster there. He yeah. was pretty good. You hear? Here's Sal roasting George. Let's see. Did a nice job. Our next roaster owes his entire career to the continuing good health of Howard Stern. From the Howard Stern Show, will you please welcome Sal the Stockman? recite the mourner's Scottish in this fucking place. <laughs> George, God, this is great. This is the first time I've seen an Asian in a restaurant full of heaps that's not wearing a bow tie serving spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit what anybody says, George. I want to say that it really is a pleasure to roast an A-list celebrity tonight. Come on. <laughs> But in the meantime, I'll practice on you, George. Because <laughs> one day I might roast a nice celebrity, you know, like uh, William Shatner. I did. <laughs> <laughs> George, I really did. You know, George, I finally have found a place where no man has gone before. Corey Kahaney's pussy. <laughs> That's one of the comedians, I guess. She, I guess. Female. What female comedians? She, I think she was on uh, America's Funniest, but one of those realities. Last, okay. yeah. Last comic standing. Last comic standing. Congratulations to you, Corey. You really earned a seat at the Friars tonight. And it's right there with the fucking contestants. I think you should switch with that guy. You know, I just don't get it. I mean, what the fuck? I remembered when the Friars hired comedians. What the fuck is going on here? This is kind of frustrating for me. It really is. It's very frustrating because this is the first time I'm seeing Corey Kahaney and I can't change the channel. <laughs> Sorry you're here. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey! A whiny, ugly, annoying, small, cocked, unfunny... Oh, oh wait a minute, I'm still on Corey Kahane. I can fucking... <laughs> Watching Gilbert is like watching a great comedian. It's like watching Jack Benny. It's like watching Henny Youngman. And that's because you sold their fucking act after they dropped dead, you hack. <laughs> Gilbert, your lines are older than the ones on Freddie Roman's balls. <laughs> George Takei, a man who finally proudly came out of the closet and straight into Brad's mouth. <laughs> Sulu, that's Klingon for cock gagger. Cock gagger, that's English for Jim David. <laughs> you know, George isn't even Japanese. His, his eyes got the way by being fucked up the ass so much. <laughs> <laughs> and you are one creepy fucking queer son of a bitch. 
<laughs> I saw George before outside the roast. He was checking out a fucking stool sample. <laughs> and then I realized it was Jim David's resume. <laughs> George, you beautiful queer. I was so sad. This fucking homo lost on secret talent of the stars. If you wanted to win, stupid, you should have eaten some pussy. <laughs> hey, at least you're not on that show, Where Are They Now? You know, it's not because you're relevant. It's because nobody gives a shit. Congrats on your future wedding to the wonderful Brad. Congratulations. You know, Brad, on your wedding day, some people will throw rice. Some people will throw rose petals, but most people will throw up. <laughs> and yeah, you're prepared. I see you're already wearing Brad's ring. Yeah, it's the proud one around your dick. <laughs> I've been over big. Get back there, Corey. <laughs> George, I love you. You're getting married soon to the wonderful Brad, and, you know, yeah. soon you'll be bringing up a kid. Just yeah, bringing him up for air out of the jacuzzi while you're both fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> Scary fucking sight right there. I hope your son never catches fever, because I'd hate to see you two fist fight over the rectal thermometer. <laughs> George, I'm glad you finally got roasted because, hey, that's one way to cook out the eights. So there we go right there. Oh, oh my God. You don't moan. No, the only moaning's on their honeymoon, okay? Take it easy. But I want to say one thing, George, in all seriousness, like I've been fucking serious all night. I want to say one thing. George, you've come a long way since Star Trek. You were a man on the Enterprise. And now you're the prize when you enter a man. <laughs> And I salute you, my friend, and I love you. Wow. He loves you. He loves you. I love him, too, but uh, that was brutal. Oh, it was vicious. Vicious, vicious. Really good job. You, you, was Brad there? He was there, yeah. Right up front. Except I couldn't see him because the um, lectern was in the way. That's it. When, when someone, like, in a guy's or a woman's life who gets roasted has to deal with that shit, that's hilarious. Uh, well, I heard that uh, that uh, Gary said that there were, I guess Sal had tried out his act on Gary, and Gary told him not to use the age joke, but he went with it anyway. And I, I told him to read the room, and because uh, and, and I said, you know, if you think you can get away with it, but I said, I don't know, I don't think that one's that funny. Well, oh, I, there were enough age jokes, man. Believe me. Yeah, he wasn't alone in that one. No, there were, he wasn't. You know. I didn't mind the gay jokes because uh -huh. I am, uh -huh. and I didn't mind the Asian jokes because I am, uh -huh. right. and I didn't mind the uh, Star Trek jokes, you know, because I'm associated with that show. But what I really kind of resented was the age jokes because age. I don't consider myself, you know, I mean, well, and, and you all don't have AIDS, I, I hope. Age, 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 oh, age, 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 oh, age oh. jokes. Age. Oh, oh did it come out age too? Yeah, age, age. age. What are you talking? Yeah, the age and they made joke. reference to my having had. Had a facelift and uh, false teeth and all that. My my face is real. There yes. hasn't been a knife to uh, cut into it, uh, and my teeth are all mine. <laughs> they, I re you know. I feel young. Yes, I mean, I'm you do. yes, I'm 71 years old. So you mean out of all those jokes, the ones about your age he got was, you the he most? They got the to age me. Joke. They did. <laughs> wow. Well, we'll go figure that one out. Well, 71 at the Friars Club is a, is a spring chicken. He's a young. That's right. Player. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I looked at the audience and I felt young. Yeah, you're a kid over there. <laughs> Uh, Sal, Sal evidently left out some jokes that I guess Gary told him were too brutal. I don't know. What, well, I, I he think... had some, like, Auschwitz jokes or oh, something. Really? Concentration. Yeah, because your internment camp situation. Oh, he I had see. one. Where is Sal? Maybe he could like tell us. A scorcher. I'd like to hear what yeah, he left and out. And Tim Sabian told me that he uh, got Sal to modify a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't tell. The, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. They trimmed Sal. Yeah, but a lot of uh, stuff was going good enough to where, I guess, you, you know, you could try something risky. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I guess that's what he did. The AIDS, th I don't, I forget what was the AIDS line anyway. It, it, it was like, oh, cook out the Cooking AIDS. Cooking the AIDS with a roast, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that, that's not really funny, but. No. But, uh, oh, Sal isn't here, he's late. I guess oh. he was working. Oh, yes, he, he was, was working late. late last night. Yeah. 
That's hard. Fresh off his big triumph at the <laughs> fire He's are. probably done at Rick's. Right. Telling him how he killed. <laughs> And wow. he's not even he was, yeah. Sal, Sal uh, it should have entered that contest because I bet he would have won. And that's um, he didn't. Well, I mean, I don't what know. There's, 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 well, you were part of a contest last night for so you think you can. Oh, roast. that's right. Yeah, right. And I think it would be good publicity for him. But he he felt he was above the yeah. contest. And I, I was saying to him, well, you know, you're on the Stern Show, which is a huge thing. And you've roasted here. But um there's a good chance because he's so good at it that he might win that thing, and that's a that's a lot of press. I think it oh, might yeah. even be a money thing, yeah. And uh, it could lead to other stuff like getting on the Friars Roast in October. Which I got news for you. Thing. After that one, I bet you they invite him. Well, they, I don't know. I don't know what their policy. He is. did well. They yeah. called him. You, Sal and I had a big sit down about this. You know, listen, being the Friars Roast, it's it's a, it's a decent deal, especially if you're trying to get into comedy like Sal. And you know, when you do these things, managers and agency and everything. So they called him and invited him to the contest. Mm -hmm. And they called him several times, and he never returned anybody's call. And I spoke to him, and I said, how come you didn't call anybody? It was a great opportunity. He goes, I fucking roast on the Howard Stern show. I'm looking like a hair with those losers. Uh, and I said, you know, you missed a, probably a reasonable opportunity. And then, nah, I get it, though. He gets a lot of attention being Sal from the Howard Stern show. Yeah, but it's also a matter of networking. Right. You could have met people yeah, I, in the biz. I would have, uh, you think networking is going to help him? Uh, no, he probably it might hurt himself him. a harm if he got to know people. The less they know him, the better yeah, it is. Yeah. I, think, I think staying out of that networking loop <laughs> might help his career. You but might be right. I right. think, uh, well, Mike Morse is a guy who's good at it and he's been here before so he's in the contest it would have been a little tough but I think Sal would have been a front runner absolutely oh, he would roast, have been definitely. if you could do that roast in October it's like every piece of press is there it's 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 you know it could lead to mm. something I don't know he did pretty good there I think that he was might even he, did, he did great there I just yeah. don't know what they're always crowded with those things is Sal a friar no no he's not oh uh, well how do you become a friar? You join. They ask. You. Oh, you just you, <laughs> yeah, don't, you pay. There aren't any qualifications. You, you're in the business, so yeah. They easy. told me it'd be easy for you. Uh, George, you got up and said some stuff. How'd that go? It went well, you know. But uh, it was a long night, and I was thinking of uh, this morning, so uh, I made it short and clean. Please give a warm round of applause for our good friend, Mr. George Takei. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think. You know, when um, Alvin Kahlo uh, called, or not called, he emailed me about two months ago uh, inviting me to be roasted here at the Friars Club. And I told him, I am absolutely thrilled. The roast at the Friars Club is the American theater version of Knighthood by Queen Elizabeth in, in Buckingham Palace. I had no idea the Queen was going to be a small, gay, Filipino man named Alec Mappa. But what wasn't Queen Alec Regal? Thank you, thank you, you are marvelous. Alec is enormously talented, the bitch. <laughs> to all. Uh, welcome to the show. I see uh, our great announcer is with us this week. We haven't seen him in a while. George Takei, the star of Heroes, Star Trek, and various other things. Fresh from the Academy Awards, where he was walking the red carpet defiantly saying, I'm here, I'm gay, and I'm proud. And married. And married. You held hands with Brad on the red carpet the entire time. Good morning. Yes, we did. And for the first time, because uh, at the other Oscar ceremonies, now Brad would always, do, you know, we go into the uh, security tent first. Right. And then they separate you, you know, the celebrities in, uh, in one uh, aisle and the uh, others. The riffraff. In the other. <laughs> and Brad always disappeared into that. And, you know, I'd look over there and he'd be uh, kind of peeking be between uh, other people's shoulders. But this time, I grabbed his hand, and I said, we are married now, and you're going to go down the red carpet with me. Sure, he's your and wife. We, well, and then we stepped out, and we hear people shouting and screaming, Brad, Brad. 
And Brad was stunned by that, and he just, you know, he loved his hand, kiss, uh, th blue kisses. Do you and ever then think we Brad... looked in front of us, and there was Brad and Angelina right in front of us. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was basking in Brad Pitt's uh, limelight. That's funny. <laughs> I thought Brad maybe had some fans. No, Howard, you remember that. You actually said that on the show. Yes. Oh, you did. Re he still that. got me with it, though. He set it up beautifully. Uh, well, George, thank you for coming here again this week. Uh, it's a very snowy week uh, here in New York, and I am glad you are with us. It uh, has been here? much too long. And, uh, yes, uh, we left Los Angeles when it was 78 degrees, and this is incredible. March the 2nd. Are you here for business or for pleasure? Well, uh, Saturday night, Brad and I both, we, we're doing things as a team now. Now that you're a married couple. Oh. Now that we are pairs. Has, has marriage so things made... have changed. Things have changed. We were at the, uh, no, it's wonderful. We're enjoying it thoroughly. Brad is enjoying it, certainly. <laughs> we Whatever went to the uh, that... Garden State Equality Dinner, their big annual fundraising dinner. Right. And uh, we both uh, spoke together. And, about what? Uh, about being married and the importance of uh, marriage equality because... Uh, Whatever happened with your prenup? Did you ever have... Uh, I knew you'd ask that. <laughs> did you ever get one? <laughs> you know, we j we got so wrapped up in everything. <laughs> we that never Brad did get smart. around to it. Yeah. No, that you know, actually, so we've smart. gone this long, 22 years now. And, uh, you know... Uh, I love him too much, and I trust him too much, and and I think <laughs> this is genuine. Brad knows I how know to fog are. him up with cock. <laughs> yeah. He sticks that cock in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, I was wondering when we were going to sign the prenup, and then right away there's a cock in George's ass, and uh, he can't even think straight. Yeah, uh, you, know, you can't uh, say no. prenuptial agreement with a cock in your mouth. <laughs> but you said there might even be a postnuptial agreement, but I can sure see that. Sure there will be. That hasn't happened, has it? Well, you know, we've uh, spent a vacation with uh, our, my attorney. He's, huh? he's never been to Japan. And uh, uh, so he said, you know, um, let's go to Japan. Uh, uh, my partner and I, you know, want to go there, but we don't, uh, we don't speak the language and uh, we don't know anything about the country. So uh, You have a gay attorney? Uh, uh, we do, yes. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant his, his partner and a, a, a lawyer. No, yeah, that's, really, why, that's why I was clarifying. Well, he Real used to partner. be with Gibson Dunn. Do you have a gay doctor? Uh, yes. <laughs> you have a gay doctor and a gay lawyer. Mm. Yes. Why is that? Is, do you not trust the straight community? No, really? uh, we're more comfortable. Do you, you have know. a gay dentist? Uh, no. You don't have a gay he's plumber. He's quite straight, and he's got two uh, <laughs> children. Um, no, I, I'm not sure about the... I mean, how far do you take this? You have plumber. a gay lawyer, a gay doctor. Yeah. No gay dentist. But no gay dentist. No d mm. gay dentist. Why not a gay dentist? Because I can't talk to the man. I have to, I open my, my mouth and he sticks instruments into, into it. Sounds Just like, like a great guy. <laughs> 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 wow. I don't know. Yeah, if you're if if you're well, you know, that's well, I was about to say something terribly homophobic. And what's going on? And what's going on in your marriage in terms of uh, sexual activity? You described when you were just dating Brad and living with him that only on Wednesday. No, which was it Sunday. Sunday? Only on Sunday you would have sexual activity, and then when you were here, I suggested perhaps incorporating Wednesday. Yes. You were sexually frustrated. You're masturbating in the shower all the time. <laughs> I mean, I remember this, and I worry about you. Uh, did marriage bring Brad out in a sense, make him feel secure enough that he can give you more sex? Uh, as a matter of fact, there's no. Uh, we do have Sunday as a regular. Yes, but uh, the. It happens spontaneously now on other days. Is that uh, true? It's not a set day. Is that really true or is that wishful thinking? No, no it is true. Uh, How often does that happen? A couple of times. And uh, then there are some weeks where it doesn't happen at all. Right. But there are more weeks when, when it happens than there are not. And do you say to him, Brad, I would have married you sooner if I could have. I mean, this is amazing <laughs> because now I'm having sex. He no, was holding it's out not, for it's not a marriage. marriage. I think it's you that made the difference. <laughs> he, he he was embarrassed that he was only doing it once a week. We talk about it on the air now, and so he. <laughs> oh, he has to make sure he gets a good report. <laughs> How does it occur spontaneously? Does Brad ever push you down and just take you against your will, or is it more the other way? Uh, it's more the other way. Yeah, you're the man. <laughs> he's the wife. Well, no, you know he's, yeah, he's still on. the man, but uh... he's the wife. <laughs> <laughs> you, you push him down and ride him. I do have to kind of do a little... Uh 
do, do you, initiative taking. Since marriage, do you find he annoys you a little bit in certain things? He did he before marriage, too. Yes, he I always mean, annoys you. Yeah, the same thing, you <laughs> yeah. know. I mean, that part hasn't changed. He right. can be a kvetch, and he can right. be a... Uh, kvetch. That's good. He, he, well, Proper use of the word, yes. Go kvetch. ahead. It's, it's, you know... Uh, he, a little, he's a little mishika, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm in showbiz. <laughs> right. No, I like it. Uh, well, uh, this sounds great. I think you are a proponent of marriage. I think that you're saying that on the uh, when you when you weigh it all out, it was worth doing, and you are happy. And as a matter of fact, that's what we talked about with the New Jersey people uh, on Saturday night. You know, they have what's called uh, uh, civil union. And, and civil union isn't the same. It doesn't work because, you know, we heard uh, there were people that spoke there that talked about, uh, you know, they get a phone call that their spouse has been in an accident and they rush over to the hotel, and, uh, to, the not hospital. The, to the hospital, right? and uh, uh, the uh, people at the uh, hospital don't Still know won't. what the word civil union means uh, and because you're not, quote, related, right. close quote. They won't allow you to see your spouse. And, you know, he could be there bleeding in the uh, uh, emergency unit, and they're kept from uh, seeing each other. And there's if no they spokesperson were married, for them, yeah. yeah. What about the future of the TV show, your hit show, Heroes? Uh, I'm concerned. Yeah. I know that viewership is down. It's this down. This past week, it was their lowest viewership ever, right. 7 million viewers. And, uh, you know, I'm a fan of Heroes. Are you trying to say that George came on and ruined the show? No, no. As a matter of fact, it's when I'm not on that the George has to go low. George, when George is this on, this is a good luck charm. By the way, you're very, very good in it. Thank you're you. Very believable, and uh, well, it's a fantastic role. It is a fantastic role. Unfortunately, the writers are not coming up with the right scripts. I have to say this. Uh, you know, I'm a fan, and yet I have a couple of them on TiVo. And I haven't been watching. I find every time I go, oh, it's the same thing with everybody's got superpowers. And, and the one's... superheroes are fighting with each other. They don't yeah. even get to fight villains. It's and better it's... when there's a little air of mystery. Because, you know, like, people don't really know what Kaito Nakamura's power is. Right. He seems to be somehow, you know, involved with those with power. You don't know if he's bad or good or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. That, that, it's that mystery that makes it uh, compelling. Right. Well, anyway, I hope the uh, show continues on. I know you enjoy doing yes. it, and uh, maybe they'll get it together. You well, know? maybe you're mentioning it like this uh, might make it happen. Absolutely. Bring uh, Kaito back. Well, it's great having you here as our announcer and as our friend, and, uh, of course, the great George Takei will be with us. Oh, and i got to tell you, you know, thank you for the invitation to your wedding reception. We would have come. Yes. But, you know, we were on our honeymoon down in South America, so... Uh, uh, but thank you very much for that yes. wonderful gift. It's, it's keeping us nice and warm and cuddly. Oh, that's good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. And, uh, you know, I would have loved to have had you there. Oh, we would love to have He would have loved to have been at yours, but ditto. Yes, I know. <laughs> he was Sunday. on a honeymoon. Well, something. look, you, were, you, you live in Los Angeles. It's <laughs> yes. difficult to get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, had yeah, a show to do on Monday. They haven't created airplanes yet. On the honeymoon. <laughs> on the honeymoon. I won't go on airplanes. <laughs> uh, on the honeymoon, did you have uh, more sex than usual? Um, well, you know, it was kind of strenuous. We um, did Machu Picchu and uh -huh. other things. And uh, when you say you did Machu Picchu, I uh, just saw already says Machu yeah, Picchu. Machu Picchu is a guy. No? Yeah, the Machu Picchu. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Peruvian guy named Machu. No. <laughs> Macho, Machu, Machu Picchu. <laughs> Machu Picchu is the wrestler. <laughs> just so you know, uh, Ma what do you mean? You walked. Uh, well, we first we did uh, La Valle Sagrada, the uh, Sacred Valley, which has about uh, four um, uh, Inca uh, temples. And they're all, they're not as developed as Machu Picchu. And right. it's climbing up precipitous cliffs and uh, these uh, little pathways along. Really? The, it's, it's really strange. Wow. And uh, why and would we, you make that your honeymoon? I mean, why? This is well, supposed we, to be about you and Brad. We did Buenos Aires as well, you know, yeah. with, uh, with all the dancing there. And then we went to uh, uh, Iguazu Falls. And uh, now when you go to Buenos Aires and you say you're dancing, were the people liberal enough to accept two men dancing mm -hmm. together uh, in Buenos Aires? They have gay tango places. Oh, they do. Gay yes. tango. Mm. The tango isn't gay enough. <laughs> when, you go to, when you go to Machu Picchu, do the natives know you as Sulu? 
Uh, there are some Americans there that recognize me. But, the, the, uh, the natives don't know Mr. Sulu, so it's very good no, for you. It, it was very good. Very calm. We were able to enjoy it, you know, without the... So what you're t implying is on the honeymoon, because of this uh, activity you know, during the day, there was no sex at night. Uh, How sad. Well, no, the, in uh, Buenos Aires there was. How many times... In Cusco there was. How many times did you have sex on your honeymoon? We were gone for three weeks, and, and it was a bit too long. We were, we were exhausted. You know when you're traveling, right? It's exhausting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think you know. Um, uh, I would say an average of uh, <laughs> One, once a week. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! That's Can no you imagine honeymoon? on honeymoon? George, this is after no twenty-two honeymoon. years together. <laughs> but George, this is sad. You know what it sounds like it's to me? It's a little. We were, but we got a lot of exercise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it sounds like to me, Howard? Remember your first marriage and your mother said, well, you don't need a romantic honeymoon because you've already done it. Well, maybe we needed a romantic honeymoon <laughs> in light of what's going on. Your mother down. was wrong, obviously. Oh, man. We'll, well go on a romantic one uh, next time. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's on, hope. on our an anniversary next year. There you go. All right. Well, George, uh, and one final question. Has marriage led to more exciting kinds of sex? In other words... You yes. had a rather, it, it has. What's happening? Well, spont <laughs> spontaneity is it's exciting. Not, exciting. But I'm saying yeah. actual physical acts. In other words, mostly you guys just blew each other. No anal. Mm. Uh, since the wedding, have you, guys, have you guys gotten deeper into, let's say, <laughs> anal or maybe some rougher sex or <laughs> smacking each other around, wrestling? Has anything new Well, developed? wrestling, yes, but, uh, you know, I'm game for experimentation but right. you got to kind of compromise with your partner <laughs> <laughs> so in a way it's like you know when when people hold out heterosexual couples and, and she'll she'll do everything but give them the vagina <laughs> like you guys didn't have anal to consummate the relationship to say hey no. nothing no. like that no <laughs> no such luck <laughs> when you say you were wrestling uh, i'm always fascinated by that i know a lot of gay couples gay men and they wrestle a lot they all wrestle they and wrestle. fight each other and uh, what is that? What well, is that about? Uh, well, you know, there's the whole muscular thing. You oh, know. Right. It's, it's is exciting. it disturbing your breakfast, Artie? Because I know you're <laughs> eating like this. You're already smiling, Artie. George, when you when you say muscular, in other words, <laughs> it's, here, it's too. Because even in uh, in, in the um, the movie uh, Brokeback Mountain. Mm. They start wrestling one another, right. and then before you know it, somebody's in someone's ass. Look, that was an all-out oh. fight. I thought they were going to hurt each other. Right. In other words, what do you think it is? Is it because you guys are men? Because men fight? Uh, it's not fighting. It's, it's you know, enjoying each other's muscular musculature. I mean, <laughs> or strength, you know, the thing that about a man, like well, he's munching with a frown on his <laughs> don't, don't pay attention. I want to know. When you say musculature, yeah. musculature. Uh, yeah, that's a great uh, word. Uh, and you and say not it a well. real one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not such a, there's no word, right? There, no, there is such a word, musculature. It's musculature. Right. Oh, well, mus <laughs> the pronunciation, but the, wor the, the, the word does exist. Musculature. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you say it. <laughs> how do you say it? Musculature. Musculature. Right. I stand corrected. You're the announcer. You should know that. <laughs> I should. Right. I should. Yeah, but uh, but so, this is the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> right. I like how you say it. But, musculature. Uh, mu musculature is the straight pronunciation. Musculature. <laughs> <laughs> so in other we words, like the musculature. It's about using your muscles and fighting and... And feeling each other's uh, you know, muscles and Right. But nobody hurts each other. Nipples. Nipples. Oh, Look yeah. at how do the nipples get in the room? <laughs> oh, that's an erogenous zone. Yes. It's certainly mine. Most men, straight men, say no. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, you, what do you mean it's yours? You like to have them squeezed or no, licked and and you know it puckers up and then in the, the fingernails kind of. <laughs> 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 All right. Maybe you heard right. Maybe you heard it. Holy shit! Already strangely silent. That was oh. the gayest 15 he, minutes in the history of the show. He had nothing to add to that conversation. <laughs> oh, man, that was rough. <laughs> All you did was eat right through it. <laughs> well, wrestling, wrestling is the only sport where you can have your face on a guy's ass and be winning. <laughs> I gotta say, Artie, you're winning. <laughs> no, my face is in the sky. Congratulations. <laughs> Your book is fantastic. Thank you, George. I read it? laughed and I cried. Thank you. I, you, you broke my heart and you warmed my souls. Well, I mean, it was a beautiful uh, and you know your love 
for the members of your family, your father and your mother and your sister. Which part did you really laugh beautiful. at? The suicide note? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of I tried, father, I tried to punch that up with some jokes. <laughs> I mean, I should have. <laughs> there's uh, Frankie Valley, right? Uh, and with the open door, right? And he Child sent this little little <laughs> baby. Yeah, shoving the baby through that's the door. Some, that's some parody. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was six, 1968. Right. Who knew what was going 68, on? 68. Nobody knew what was going on. I remember 71. Parody hadn't been invented. <laughs> by the 70s, fish. people knew not to shove yes, their kid in a strange room. Yeah. When they, celebrity. when they finally came up with that, it was groundbreaking. You know, it's so funny. Artie brings up a good point. In the 60s, my parents were always shoving me in strange rooms where they didn't know what was inside. But in the 70s, that was uh, they taught on they TV. They woke up, yes. yeah. Sesame but, Street came around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we started to understand you don't and do they, that. And Big Bird well, used to sing about not shoving your child into George, strange rooms. Uh, do, uh, th uh, thank you for being here. We have all week, and I'm really excited you're here. We get it's so excited when you're here. You know, everyone is, the, the show becomes better when you're here somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but it, it somehow gets elevated. Thank well, you. Well, you make me better, too. Thank you. Uh, Josh, you're on the air in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Peace and love, bitches. Hey, I know you've got an early copy of The Bachelor. Did you watch it yet, the finale? Well, you know, I, as long as we're talking gay stuff, uh, <laughs> let me continue right on. Uh, yes. You know, they were talking about the end of this Bachelor to the point that I think I might have to watch it. Yeah, you do need to. Here's here's the here's the bottom line. I don't want to ruin it for You've anybody. You've seen it. I Go ahead and ruin it. it. Come on. No, no, I won't. Uh, yeah, did you watch it while you were getting your nipples rubbed? Yes, and then the, no. then the nails. <laughs> no. And then the nails. I did, watch it. I did watch the final Bachelor. It did lead me to say to Beth, this is the best show on television. And, uh, you know, it's a reality show dating game, basically. And and uh, it is so good. It has a lot of twists and turns, because that's what they say. Here's what you need to do. You watch the episode, and then right after, they're having, after the final rose ceremony, that's when all the fireworks start. And that's all. Oh, I'll really? Say. Yes. Ooh. The the regular episode is very good, and then. But the, it's the after the rose. It will startle you. Oh, startle? Yes, it's it's a great uh, it's a great ending to the story. Wow. I have yeah. a theory. Well, do you think there's any chance that he might have knocked up the other girl when they're in the fantasy suite, and then like three months later when they do this final rose thing, then like uh, he's like, well. Can't marry you. Got the other girl pregnant. Well, as a matter of fact, that was my theory too, because I kept seeing these promos for the Bachelor. Where and he's a, hanging over the uh, balcony, crying. crying. And I thought, well, he must have knocked up the other broad. I didn't it, know what had gone on, so I had no idea why a guy would be crying on the Bachelor. But I am not. This guy cries more than anybody. <laughs> and so what I'm going to tell you is, I'm not going to reveal what happens, but it it, it it is good. All right. All right, All right Josh. Thank I you. I should more question. Yeah. You know how there's that weird old, weird old girl who was like a dental hygienist who had those giant, huge caps? Yes. Like, now I understand what it's like walking around with looking at Gary because, I mean, I just couldn't stop looking at those huge t white teeth that girl had. Well, there you go. So now you know what it's like to be with Gary. And then he turns to and he goes, yeah. who told you I have caps? <laughs> how did you know? How did you know? All right. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Thank All right, you. that's my little bit on The Bachelor. Yes, uh, A-plus on the finale of The Bachelor for those of you who are gay like me and you want to watch... Early stuff. I didn't know there had been four bachelorettes. I'm I'm way behind. There's a lot of bachelorettes. There's a there's a lot. Well, there's two bachelorettes. That's I oh, heard, oh you say oh you're saying four. You know no that have done their own mm -hmm. series. All right, Robin. I recommend you watch it. That's all, right. all I'm saying. All right, I will do so. Right. Even though I haven't seen the whole season, which I'm proud to say. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You just watch tonight. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not. I don't know how anybody can watch American Idol. I heard that there's one guy on there with some talent. Have you been watching? The I've been watching. No, there's a there's, there's a girl who has a lot of talent who, with red hair who's very. Well, good. I was talking to some professionals. Oh. Some mm -hmm. people in the music business, and they say there's one guy who really is a not just a guy who can sing, but a standout talent who could really be a pop star. I think they're referring to a guy whose wife died like two weeks before he auditioned. Oh, really? A yeah, young guy got recently got married, and his wife all of a sudden just had a quick illness and died or wow. something. Wow. Uh, they're probably referring to him, but there well, are some others. They said he has like a goth look. Oh, that guy they think has talent? They think he has oh. real talent. He's good, that guy. Yeah. There's a couple of kids who are good. Well, but, I'm know. just saying these were the pros who were saying, you know, this is a guy who could be, regardless of American Idol, he could be a star. There you go.
When you say pros, you mean like executives or singers? I'm talking about people in the music business, people who who uh, who's your prepare friend? singers oh. for sing, you know, to do things. And who's all that? That, that stuff. guy you hang around with? What's his name? No, 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 it's a person I just met. What's that guy you used to hang around with? Who's that guy you used to hang around with? <laughs> Bernstein. Bernstein. No. Is that who's t no. advising you on no, who has no, talent? No, Bernstein wouldn't be caught dead watching American Idol. <laughs> who's advising you, Scott the Engineer? Scott the Engineer, I was uh, sitting at my desk. Who's your friend, Lou Pearlman? <laughs> ah. There's a boy I um, could really groom. Yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Scott the Engineer sent me some tape of his son's band. That he, you know, he, he writes me, um, uh, if you're sitting around this weekend because he knew Beth was around, would you listen to my son's music? Oh, since music? your wife is not around, you can listen to his son. Yeah, well, I got nothing to do, so he's right. I'm staring at a wall. Like, Scott assumes they have nothing to do, but I did. I listened. It was very nice. It was it was good. Why don't you play some of it here? I would. Yeah, uh, that's a preview. But uh, it was very good, you know, and I know my There's... kid, my oldest kid, uh, dabbles in music, too, there. Uh -huh. So, you know, you you hope they, they know what the hell they're doing, but uh, Scott's kid had some good stuff there. Oh, really? His kid I, is uh, a talented, right? Talented guitar player? He's or... a guitar player. He Singer, sings. Right? He does his thing. So uh, maybe I'll play you some of that. Now, Beth last night... Why me... wouldn't his son try out for American Idol? I don't think he's got that kind of uh, voice. Yeah, I think it's more like a rock band kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Ask Scott. <laughs> uh, Scotty Jr. wants to be on uh, American Idol, Howard. Do you think he could uh, <laughs> talk you to know, Simon Cowell? What, what was that show that uh, the kids? The kids were the kids of famous people. Famous people. Maybe Scott's son could do that show. Uh, you know those people. That's, that show that would did, be great. That show did horribly in the ratings. So they. Uh, uh, they, they, I don't think they're ever going to do that again. You talking about the one with D. Schneider's yeah, kid? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That would be great. He's got the engineer's kid. But he'd probably be the most talented there. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, later in the show, I will play you a tape of William Shatner talking about George Takei. <laughs> and why, again? Again, he's again. consumed. Uh, this Good. time he's talking about George and why George can or cannot be on his uh, A&E Channel TV show. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, George will, uh, wow. I will play. Have you heard that yet? <laughs> no, I have. I you know, this is an you. interesting thing, I'm... because for years, William Shatner wouldn't even acknowledge that there was a problem. And now all he does is talk about it. It's getting boring now. Isn't oh, it? Well, oh, George no. is out in the spotlight again. and <laughs> he, I mean, the odd thing is Shatner always claims that George is obsessed with him. It sounds like Shatner is obsessed yeah, with George. Well, Shatner was, Shatner was ignoring George at first. Yeah. Now George is on Heroes, and he's getting a lot of attention for his marriage and stuff. And you know Bill doesn't like to see anyone else get the attention, right? That's exactly Even it. Even this. I mean, because this is in a year, you know, like he won an Emmy last year or doesn't something. Doesn't matter. That he? was last year. He wow. wants he wants his ratings. I mean, you know, the more he talks about me, the more, the, I guess, people... So he's in. using you. But we'll wait till later for that. I don't want to give you... I don't want to drop a full load on you yet. <laughs> I'm going to wait to drop my load on you. Yeah, you're going right. to wait until you're married. I, I try. <laughs> we're going to drop loads this on you five times this week. <laughs> yeah, we're going to drop loads on you, but we're going to go take it through the week. I can't get enough of your whack. <laughs> I can't get enough of your whack. Oh, my. I can't get enough of black whack. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard that. You ever hear this song? I've never heard it. I love your black. Boom. I love your black. Boom. Black. 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 I love your black. Boom. I love Mexican boys. I think you're there. Thank you. George, wow. George walked down the aisle to that. I don't know if you know that. No, we walked down the aisle to... One, you know, one. Right. Remember that? I think they high-stepped yeah. all the way down. Did you high-step all the way down? <laughs> Brad did. Oh <laughs> Were Brad's parents there? Brad's mother was there. Yes. His father's past. So you really gated up for the wedding, right? I mean, it went all we, out. We got standing applause uh, on our entrance. What our did you wear? What did you wear? Were you A wearing white dinner jacket? White dinner jacket. Yes. And what did the bride wear? <laughs> Same White dinner jacket. All right, good. Okay. White, huh? White. Okay, yes. there you Virginal. Go. I know. <laughs> well, we all heard Brad doesn't take it in the ass. So. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm a fellow virgin. Were Brad's? Uh, well, you've never, say, you've never had his ass your entire relationship. I have. Oh, you have. He didn't like it. Right. Oh. oh. Was time. he awake? <laughs> yeah, you should have drugged him. Yeah. What? Uh, you want more of that ass sex, but you can't get it from him, right? 
Well, you know, I, I want it to be a mutually, you know, enjoyable thing. Right, but if it's you, better that way, you would never take it in the ass. Uh, me? Yeah, I have. Yeah, <laughs> surprise. But I Brad mean, doesn't want that not, either. Not Brad. Brad doesn't yeah. want to give it to you in the ass. No. Wow. No. Why he doesn't think that's a natural thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it naturally where a relationship goes? Uh, what are you? Uh, you know, do you want like it, it in the end? Mutually good, you know. Right. right. And, and uh, I don't want it to be unpleasant for him. And so when you went into his ass, was Ooh. there a lot of duty involved? Is oh that why my he was, God! No, no, no. No. He is so fastidious and clean. <laughs> but you didn't pull out a plum. He practically had an enema before he. You know, oh really? He allowed me to do it. Was there blood? <laughs> there was, was a there, lot of discussion. Was, was there bleeding involved? Is that the problem? You no, no, there was no bleeding. You must rip them apart. No. Oh. no, no, no. I did not. Do you do you <laughs> lube up for that? You, yes. you get a lot of oh sure gel going. Yes. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you need to. <laughs> you know what? We haven't done that in ages now. So uh, you yeah. could be totally clean back there, but there's still one in the chamber. You know no, what I mean? No, no, no. If he practically <laughs> enema, I think no, he, he probably did got not. it. But do you know what I mean? Uh, you can be. You can feel. You can tap into something in there, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. And is that what you happened? You have. Is that well, what, is that what happened you know, with Fred? You know, I, I didn't care. It was, <laughs> <laughs> but Brad got upset because you wow. felt it. You pulled out something, didn't you? Oh you did. no! I know it. I know it. That's what goes wrong. Oh. <laughs> if you hadn't pulled anything out, he would have been fine with it, right? Uh, I no, I don't think he enjoyed. It. You know, this is the only day I've missed regular radio. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. What'd you say? I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having a great time hearing these stories. But you, uh, <laughs> you, when I, you got it you, in the ass, how, what's the last time you got it in the ass, George? What? Before Brad. Right. It's a long time. It's been a long time. And you, you like it. it. What? You like it. I don't like it. But, no. You know, if, but you'll do it for yeah, a guy yeah, if yeah. you want, right? If he enjoys it. Did you make the mistake of telling Brad you pulled something out? Like, in other words, if you had... He just, saw it. He did. Oh, <laughs> oh it was that messy. <laughs> Couldn't be hidden. In other words... Oh, because if you when I kept, withdrew, you when know. you withdrew, he saw and he got embarrassed. Yes. Yes. Oh. So, so well, well, he's a stickler for cleanliness and neatness, and you know <laughs> everything. Did you, did you tell him it doesn't matter that this? Just... I said, you know, it's yours, it's, uh, and I love you, and it doesn't make any difference to me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look, look, it's Honestly. embarrassing. I mean, that can be embarrassing. You, you've I can had see that happen. I can see how it's embarrassing. Uh, Would you be embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> if, if my boyfriend shit on my dick. <laughs> so in other words, th so after that, he was not interested in trying again. He didn't yeah. like it. He didn't. Like it. Never no. again. Never again. But you would like to do it to him again. If you know, he liked I, I, it. I, I just enjoy what we do. Whatever it is, you're okay. Yeah. All right, I got so it. So it never comes to a point where you're like, I really want to, but I can't. You're just happy with what's going on. I'm happy with, you know, what we have. All right. And were you wearing a condom, right. or you don't wear a condom when you do anal? No. Do no. I mean, he's your long-term... Because, you know, we, we got together during that uh. AIDS scare period. Yes. And it was very scary. You I mean, bet. You know, and we, you know, we got tested, uh, and it took forever and a day for the uh, results to come, and uh, we didn't have sex at all uh, during that period. I was going to ask, what did you do during that time? No sex whatsoever. Well, no. With we, those two, we, it sounds we, like that's we, just a yeah. typical day. But it was, it was so scary. This was early, though. You don't know. You know, yeah. we, we had friends that were not only ill, but, you know, some... Mm -hmm. Pass at that time. Right. It was a horrible. That had to be awful, actually, right? You lost a lot of friends. And yeah. you, oh, for them was, to die like that, terrible. that's terrible. Mm. terrible. We visited them, and, you know, it was it was horrible. Right. So once you were horrible. tested, you were able to have the anal without a rubber because you were both clean and you were not having sex but, with other people. But still, you know, that, that psychological thing, you know. Sure. It was very scary. And mm. uh, I guess... A little bit of that. Still, Scared you yeah. off the uh, it, old it, it did. back well, door. That'll do it. That'll get you off the back door. <laughs> so, you know, the climate of the time yeah. is also what uh, colored that whole... I haven't given it to Fred in, since the AIDS scare. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the test to come back. Right.